We are right in the middle of Toronto and Montreal on Highway 401, Kingston, Ontario, the 2020 Tim Hortons Pride. Sunday morning, downtown Kingston, all the action at the Leon Centre, the 31st time that the province of Ontario has hosted the Briar. Our feature this morning, Saskatchewan and New Brunswick. Come on inside the building and welcome to the morning show. Glad you're watching our coverage. Brian Mutrick joined by Kathy Goche and Kathy. Every time I come to the Briar the last few years, I say the same thing. Maybe the best field ever, and I'm saying it again because the field is outstanding. Well, it really is wonderful when Team Canada is rated six. That's crazy. And last night, not really any upsets, but through the afternoon and evening draws, we saw teams working through ice, stones, and draw weight. Draw weight was the key. Two of the favorites going head-to-head -head last night, Team Alberta versus Northern Ontario. Brendan Botcher back-to-back Briar finals, and he was sharp in this game. Well, he really was. We talked about draw weight. Brendan was one of the men out here that figured it out, but when he had to make the up weight shot, takes all the wind out of the sails of Northern Ontario. That was a great run back in seven. Look at the Reds go, handshakes soon after, and a win as he takes down the champions from 2013. Brad Jacobs, seven to two. PEI winning over Nunavut, nine to four. And Team Wildcard, Mike McEwen winning that playing game Friday, beating Saskatchewan 5-3, and James Gratton stealing a win literally 9-8 over Team Yukon. So very early, worth pointing out, two pools, top four from each pool will move on to the championship round of eight, which begins on Thursday. And remember, you bring your record with you. So our feature, Kathy, this morning, Saskatchewan, New Brunswick. We'll start with Matt Dunstone, a two-time champion at Canadian Juniors. Coming out of Saskatchewan, had to win three must-win games just to get here, and he's still looking for his first win after a tough loss last night. Well, it was a tough loss, but it was a very close game, and that's what Matt takes out of that game. And the advantage really was to Mike McEwen because of that play-in game. They had figured out ice, stones, and draw. That was the key. James Gratton here for a 13th time, and he admitted to make the championship round, he's going to need some breaks and maybe some luck, and he got both last night. Well, he really did. You know, we talked so much about Thomas Scoffin being a great junior, was up three going into nine, gave up two, and that steal of two in the extra end, the experience showed last night. Gratton, two bronze medals at this event over the years. New Brunswick has never won the Briar Tankard. He will try to do that this week in Kingston, and that is our feature, New Brunswick, Saskatchewan. Next on TSN. The 2020 Tim Hortons Briar is brought to you by Home Hardware. Here's how. We're pretty confident that we definitely had our big ups and our big downs as well, but we're definitely growing as a team. This is a pretty young team and we're very excited about that and, and kind of the steps forward we've taken against some of the world's best is something that we're really excited about. Our goal is to make the playoff pool. I think we're kind of right there at that spot. We're not the team that's going to blow everybody away all the time, but we're kind of sneaky and we can fight and knock people off at the right times hopefully and sneak in there. Glad you're with us on this Sunday morning draw three, our first morning draw on TSN, your feature, Saskatchewan, New Brunswick. It is time to meet the teams brought to you by Home Hardware. Here's how we begin with Team Saskatchewan out of the Highland Curling Club in Regina. Skip Matt Dunstone, third raid Muscawi, second is Catlin Schneider, and at lead, Dustin Kidby. New Brunswick out of the Gage Golf and Curling Club in Oromocto, Skip James Gratton, third is Paul Dobson, second Andy McCann, and lead, Jamie Brannon. So Team Saskatchewan, the seventh seed coming in. Team New Brunswick seeded 11th. And this morning winning the draw to the button was Team New Brunswick. So they'll have Hammer, New Brunswick, the Yellow Stones, Team Saskatchewan, the Red Stones. The broom is down and the lead for Team Saskatchewan is Dustin Kidby. And this is a team with a lot of great junior experience, Kathy. They had to really battle to get out of Saskatchewan. Three must-win games, beating Kirk Myers in that provincial final. And for James Gratton, he's 45 now. I'm still going to call him Jimmy the Kid, though, because he's hoping to turn back the clock. Two bronze medals all time at the Briar. And he got away with a sneaky win Good last man. night. Well, he talked about that in his interview, and that's exactly what he did. He just 
that is experience. There's no question about it. And watching last night, too many rocks in play for UConn, and it caught up with them. They wound up running stones onto their own, and they created an opportunity for James to win, and he did. Sorry, dude. What's up, boy? Good shot. Well, more experience in terms of reps at the Briar goes to New Brunswick, but certainly the team that has played on the tour more and has more experience at top level competition might be Saskatchewan in this game. So it will be interesting to see which option Matt chooses. Does he go aggressively after James? and try to force New Brunswick to make really difficult shots, or does he try to keep it relatively open and not make mistakes? And I think we're seeing very early that Saskatchewan is going to go hard after New Brunswick. I think we now you see the stone in the rings from Jamie line's Brandon, good. and right away the freeze goal for Matt Dunstone. Line's good. No, line's good. Close. Good line. Yep. Oh. Where are we? Pretty good. Clean it. Yep. Little bump. Gotta go. Real hard. Hard. Bury it. Good. Good shot. Really good, Deuce. Good. Good. Good sweet, boys. Is that rock, maybe? Well, that finished really hard. You hear reference to rocks already. There it is. Too worried about it. No, I wasn't. A little tighter. Tight. Tight. You talked about experience, Gathy, the third briar for Jamie Brandon, who has lead twice for Mike Kennedy. We saw him in 2017, St. John's, 2016 in Ottawa. And now lead stones here for James Gratt. Well, I timed that. That's 1649. And great brushing to take it almost to the house. So giving us a really good example of how fast the ice conditions are. The challenge is for New Brunswick is in locking those stones. You your run back is gone. Go similar to my draw, my last one. And the one thing in watching all the games yesterday, Kathy, you doing the updates as well, really fast ice. And you hear the players and you guys talked about it in the broadcast booth. Yes. Out of the hack to the hog line felt real quick. And a lot of the players were fooled coming in deep for the draw room, weight. They really were. And that's one of those things that you use yesterday, the first day at a Briar or Scotty's, as an assessment. Here's what it will do. And then you try to talk about kick speeds and weights and just dial it back that little bit. Good spot, Cap. Good Good job, buddy. A very nice shot. He's adding a lot. Good judge, boys. Hi, boy. Good judge. And even though he's shot for New Brunswick with hammer, can see that those red stones on either side of his shot Come stone up. can yep. be run yep. in. Yep. And James is yep. not having anything to do with that, trying to open Arr. up the front. Arr. Yep. Arr. Arr. Well, coming off a loss yesterday for Saskatchewan, it probably doesn't feel that much of a loss because they did play relatively well. So begin at one, start the first end. They started very slow and it was yeah, too late last red. night. We're already yeah. seeing that and push it third. Braden Miscawi shot 88% yesterday in that loss compared to Paul, who's ninth overall. That's where you might see the big difference this morning. Second Briar appearance for Catlin Schneider. He was third for Adam Casey for Team Saskatchewan and St. John's back in 2017. Back four. Can't leave it. Back four. Hard! Wait, it's really good. Hard! Wait, it's Gotta keep going. That's a good shot. And a Saskatchewan wall building here, Kathy. It certainly is. And for James Gratton, that is a concern right now, but overall, weight management was an issue yesterday. He had the broom in the right spot, but instead of throwing hack, he threw bumper a couple of times and got air. That's a challenge. And then just simplify. You have a team in front of you who has experience, but maybe not at the top level, and the degree of difficulty James left himself last night was very high. Make it easier on yourself. 
Keys to the Game brought to you by Purex, bathroom tissue, soft yep. and absorbent for over 95 years. Stay with it, stay with it. Sure. Same as me. I'm trying to throw you like a... Almost a full That's good, Ice. That's two, three brooms more than me. Got four so flat good. deuce Yeah, 95 to four. I think a flat's good with my ult. <coughs> Couple of Canadian junior champs on this team. Brady Miscawi, one of them, winning back the championship back in 2011, back beating Matt Cam, actually. That was in Calgary, and Matt is here. He is. At the Briarford Team Ontario, and we mentioned off the top of the show as Matt Dunstone winning a pair of gold medals at Canadian Nationals in that event. And what's interesting, he did it 2013, then a few years off in junior, not taking it off, just couldn't win. It's so tough at that level. Won again in 2016. Let's roll inside, aren't we? Yeah. <coughs> So looking to hit and roll underneath that yellow stone in front. Normal. Oh. Normal. A little off the penny. Andy? Yeah, go, yep. Keep it going, going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Hi, 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 hi. Roll it. Boy, Paul. Next class. Paul Dobson, nice little hit and roll. Frozen now to his own yellow stone, top four. Hi, Paul. Pretty good. He gets the Especially movement the at the end, yeah, trying to directionally brush that stone to come over. Yeah. If he had stopped a couple of inches on the left of that, the double would have been available for Matt. But because of the roll under, Wait, it's good. three quarters Wait, available please. to Braden Four. from the hack, Four. but cannot make the Four. double. So trying Four. to get to the nose of it Four. and get rid of yeah. one Heavy and hat. stay no, right on top. Please, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. please, no, whoa. no, 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 no. Off no. It. Good. Pretty good. Try. Pretty good, Ma. Yeah. Same that shot. Was, uh, it normal, eh? That was normal. It was normal. Yeah. Control here. Weight choice is just a little bit less weight. Still throwing just a shade take less. out. Control. Just trying Please. to get that little bit of extra movement. Whoa, step. Whoa. Step. whoa, 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 whoa. Andy! Yeah, roll it. Power! Roll it! Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice Boy, little Molly. flip over again for Paul Dobson, who's in his third briar as well. He skipped New Brunswick and Hamilton back in 2007 and played second yeah, back in 2005 yeah, here, huh? here. for Wade Blanchard. Well, and he put an asterisk on the keys nice this one, morning nice in that battle yeah. at third. Two wonderful shots in this first end. We going beak or a little high, Maddie? What's that? We going beak or a little high? A little high. Okay. We yeah, mentioned his two gold that medals at junior as well. So many familiar faces, faces rather, years later. He went in Fort McMurray beating Thomas Scoffin, who's on the ice this morning. He's the skip for UConn at this year's Briar. Now we do always talk about that transition, especially with success in junior men's, two men's, and a couple of years. Matt played for different people. He moved where he needed to go, trying to find a way to get to this level. And now actually the import living in Kamloops. Oof. And that is a tough one for the skipper from Saskatchewan. Hey, it's three. Yeah, man. If he hits, we should have a triple. Yeah, we might be able to go. What's ideal here though, this? It is amazing, Kathy, how this ideal. end has turned. Yeah, it's it was been one shot. Saskatchewan big time early. What's coming here? Control? Yeah, I'd like control. You think I need more? I think you're okay. Lots of rocks in play Matt, for Matt so Dunstone. For he risked a lot in this first end, and then that was just an unfortunate break in peeling that off and jamming it. A couple of choices as he thinks about how he's going to make a triple. 
the hit for Getting sure is an option. The other one is right? to throw another yellow stone on that same side where the other ones are to take away the potential for the triple. But James will hit, lie four, and say to Matt Dunstone, see how many you can get rid of. Those two Control. bronze Control. medals back in the day with our good friend Russ Howard. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Andy. Whoa. Turn in. Turn. Stay with it. Yeah. Wants to keep that shooter Beauty. around. Okay. And the other bronze, he was a skip back in 1997, <laughs> losing the Aggressive. semifinal yeah, to really. Manitoba's <laughs> Vic Peters. Such a talented thrower, and if he can get a few wins early, you just never know the ceiling for James Gratt. How many can you get here, Kathy? Well, they're looking at that stone on the far side. So making the double and trying to catch that one on the way out. There is not a triple of the three that are grouped there. You like that ice? So we'll make the double and try to yep. roll the shooter really thin. <laughs> what are we looking for? Thin half. Uh, thin half. Okay. To get rid of three. A big shot early here in the first end, facing four. Yep. Whoa. Hard. Whoa. Whoa. 24 year old yep. Matt Dunstone. Yep. How whoa. much can he clean up? Whoa. Whoa. Bang, roll it across to go why. get the third. What a oh, shot nice. early from Matt Dunstone to bail his team out. That's huge. Great job, buddy. That's huge. That is his strength. That big up weight shot. Read that extremely well. Great shot. No question, the double was there. The key was hitting it correctly to be able to remove that stone. And so from a chance of a potential four, draws for two. It's kind of a little heavy on my first, I guess. And that's the comment from Braden. It was actually a pretty good end, and then one shot turned the tide. It's not often you're happy, Kathy, to give up two in the first without, but not a bad scenario the way it was building. So final stone here in one, James Gratton a chance to touch paint and pick up two in this opening end. Can't hurt it. We're all there. Little tap. Oh boy. All about figuring out that draw weight, Kathy, oh, early in the week. Little tap, little backing, and all good. Hey, good end, boys. Great shot from Dunstone. But New Brunswick leads 2 0 in our feature this morning. The 2020 Tim Hortons Briar is brought to you by OK Tire and BKT Tires, by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada, and by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. Welcome back to our first morning draw. Brian Mutra, Kathy Goche with you in Kingston, Ontario. We were here in 2013 for the Scotties. That was won by Rachel Holman. And this year we'll crown Team Canada on that championship weekend and final a week from today, next Sunday. In our feature this morning, it is Saskatchewan and Team New Brunswick and a draw for two from James Gatton. James Gratton, rather. That's pretty good. So he has a 2 nothing advantage, and he's draw to find paint. Top and here in the second end, it is Saskatchewan. The Redstones with we Hammer. Matt Dunstone, the skip. Lee Little Stone's down. on the way. Little this down. one from Everyone. Dustin Kidby. Well, and that draw by James Gratton was huge last end. You play the whole yeah. end, and you... You get a break and you're lying a bunch and then there's a brilliant shot made against you. Even though we say it's a draw just to the paint, that's one of those shots that if you don't make, the momentum shift is so dramatic to the Saskatchewan side that sometimes even though it's one point, it's hard to recover. So a really important draw that James sat in the hack, took the time he would normally take to throw it and then made it. Yeah. Control! Yeah. Control! Andy McCann, who actually threw the 
draw to the button and earning his team hammer this morning. Any player has that opportunity to try to draw the pin. And they have to, Brian. Yep. Everybody has to take a turn. Get that early advantage. So we're full right across the sheets of ice here at Leon Center. Over on sheet A, it is Team Wildcard Mike McEwen taking on Team Scoffin. We mentioned Scoffin being at the Canadian Juniors and making a final before our feature on sheet B. Sheet C, PEI in Northern Ontario, Brad Jacobs, the Olympic gold medalist and prior winner 2013, looking to bounce back. And it's Nunavitz and Alberta as Brendan Botcher is looking to get back to a prior final. And he looked very sharp in his opener that win last night on TSN versus Northern Ontario. So we'll keep you up to date with the scores all morning long. So, Kathy, let's get to work here. Update time, Nunavut, Alberta, over on Sheet E. Well, an opportunity for three. You can see that the shot stone belongs to Nunavut, but the two behind it do belong to Alberta, trying to get rid of the stone, pick it out. Very nice wow. to bring three into play. Clinical. He was sharp last night, and Brendan Botcher bringing his game. Uh, three nothing yep. over Jake Higgs. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Well, the eh you heard from New Brunswick was because that roll, while it looks great because it's behind the guard, sets up the double opportunity, just coming off that outside one, and then in making it, Saskatchewan would be lying shot stone behind the guard. And that is the attempt now. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. This one has to curl up and just a tiny roll inside. More updates, and there is some serious pressure Oof. being applied there by Brad Jacobs, lying three, one to come from PEI. A former world senior champion, Brian Cochran, throwing to a very small piece of real estate for his single. Needs the button. Good. Last one, night, one, Kathy, one, Brian one, Cochran, 94% with his draws. Yep, yep. So the KG veteran, he figured out that ice early. Needs a good one here as it's cutting over. Can he get the pin for his one? Wow, what draw weight and what a shot early. Nice. Kudos to Brian Cochran. That's a big draw. He picks up a yeah, single. a little up. And a blank between wildcard Yukon, so Mike McEwen still with hammer in two. So you need those numbers, right, to know for sure. Yeah. Yep! No. Braden Miscawi. Oh, no. Yes! Bang, run it back. Good. Nice Good double, Sorry, two will go. Throw. And you said he was making a number of those yesterday, Kathy. He made a lot of doubles and hits and rolls, just really seeing the ice. Throw him off. Nice. Just as good as any. But chance, certainly for, you, eh? for New Brunswick, yeah. already lying one. They've got a center guard without hammer, a chance to put even more pressure button, so. against Matt Dunstone. And Paul coming off two wonderful shots in the first end. Now looking to make the draw around the outside. After two hit and rolls in one. I think it kind of took a little off. Yep. Why the room? Room. We're close. Mine's fine though. Wait's close. Top Mine's eight. Real, top four. Yeah, I gotta go. Gotta go. Go, man. Gotta go. Hurry, get back ah. there. Let's go. Keep going. Come on. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Keep going. Hard. Keep going. Harder. Hard. Hard. Oh, more, 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 more. Ah, uh, great throw, Paul. Spot fault. Sorry, Interesting, Kathy. Years ago, you'd see a brusher on hey. either side, and then as we advanced in technology and learning about the sweeping, slower. one yeah. on each side, and now it seems one will set up right behind the rock. And whether you got to kind of scratch the ice or get it to move. Sweeping really has become a scientific exploration of what <laughs> works best. 
And, you know, we realize now that what we did for many years in both sweeping on the same side is something that in some ways we're going back to when you want the rock to do certain things. But back in the day, everybody swept on the same side just because and the footwork was very intricate, but now we're starting to study all the time how sweeping makes an impact, how directional sweeping works, when to come off, when to go on, and of course, all of the discussion about fabric a couple of years ago. Yeah. And when I say scratching the ice, usually you'd scratch the ice, they kick you off the sheet and send you home, but it's these micro scratches which on the ice which gets you that curl. It is. Same speed? See their edge of the floor appeal. Where are you going? Edge of the floor. Tree line. Okay, okay. So trying to split the house and create a situation where New Brunswick can force Saskatchewan to have to take uh, one. Same? This is in a little bit farther. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe a hair more than I knew it was a hair heavy. Yeah, time. I think same. Yeah, give us the same. Yeah. Well, the discussion is because James is crossing over that center line where there's not a lot of play in the first couple of ends. He knows that it will be a little slow in his last. As James delivers, let's go to sheet A wild card and Team Yukon. And that red stone is counting and the 12 foot and one to come from Mike McEwen. So a draw for two. And living in Manitoba, Kathy, you've watched this team a lot. How are they playing coming in? Obviously, the win the wild card playing game, that's great, but how have they been playing this season? You know, they've had a pretty oh, good season. They've traveled extensively I, I and played heavy. extensively to be right up there in the it's terms good. of the standings. Like okay. But at the provincial Clean. championship, we're not as sharp as Clean. I've seen them. That's but in watching the wild fine. card playing game, a very good game. And they looked Four, very comfortable six. against Saskatchewan last night. Shot. And it looks like Mike McEwen getting that draw weight in his back yeah, pocket. Good patience, guys. Yeah, good some job. fist pumps there from his front end. And two on the board for Team Wildcard and Mike McEwen. Well, Matt Dunstone, this is his go-to shot. He loves to hit. And Brian, no bigger yep, one than last end. He took some risk in the first end without last rock, facing four yep. whoa, on hard. his stone. Yep. Whoa, whoa. His final stone, a chance to either make it big That's or it. not. Right. And what a wonderful triple to turn things around and keep that. himself very much That's in this it. game. The key shot brought to you by KT yep. Tires yep. growing yep. together. Oh, there's a very interesting number. So not successful not so heavy far heavy in being able yep. to heavy score heavy two yep. Yep. with Hammer. Only managed Heart. single points last Heart. night in that loss. You see Catlin right over the rock behind it. And wow, they're going to go right through the uprights. Okay. Hey, Maddie. Silver light, that's fine. Hey man. Had a chance to chat with him off. a bit, Kathy, at the recent Scotties, yeah, no and he was Sorry. exhausted. And you, you talk about those three must-win games that they had back in Saskatchewan. They played about 50 ends in 30 hours yeah. in trying to Take grind through and get through. And uh, they are a young team, obviously. It's good to be young. You rebound pretty quickly. Yeah. So for him and his teammates, you hope you can recharge coming off that loss last night and get some momentum going here early in Kingston. Well, I think that Matt threw that stone okay, just under through for the ice. He was planning to throw regular weight and you heard Braden say to him, just hack. And there's no chance that those stones will run straight with hack weight. With up weight, they don't move. But with that quieter weight, he paid the price for not throwing the weight for the burn. Whoa! And so chance for New Brunswick. James can get right in front of that stone in the 12 foot. Ah, that's it. Nope. Okay. Now let him off the hook a little bit. 
I thought I took a little off on you. Probably threw identical, didn't I? I had you a little, just a fraction more. Okay. Just a fraction. For broom. Yeah. And we, we came into here with half. Yeah. Like, what's this look like with board? That was board. We're trying to hit seven eighths low, eh? Yeah. That's got to be close. So this is not about the double. Board. This no, is about not. the little bit of the inside like roll. So you come across yeah. the face of the stone. Yeah. Okay. It was and even if he jams, yeah. his shooter will roll towards the button. Oh, okay. Yeah. So just light. Yeah. Okay. That was like half hey. with so a five feet. Yeah. You didn't have a hole for yeah, lots of pressure by Matty give us this morning. I was going to say, the yeah. first two oh, final stones in the hack for young Matt Dunstone, he's been looking at a lot of granite. Made that great double, our key shot in the first end. And he needs a nice one here just to score his single. Pretty good number as a hitting machine last night, 91%. Wait, it's good. Final yeah. stone Board. here in two as he's Green. throwing Green. against three. Board. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Clean. Board. Good Whoa. board. You're real Clean. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. 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 Has to curl, get that flip inside to get a single. He won't. So a steal of one for New Brunswick and James Gratton. And a dream start for the team from Oromocto as they have a 3 nothing advantage here at the Briar. The 2020 Tim Hortons Briar is brought to you by AGI, West Steel, Westfield, Batco, Nico, SureTrack, and more. We are AGI. On the shores of Lake Ontario, at the start of the St. Lawrence River, we're in Kingston, beautiful city, great downtown area as well, and also downtown us, the Leon Center, and our feature matchup this morning. At the Briar, Saskatchewan, New Brunswick. And a steal of one for James Gratton. He stole the win last night as well to get his first win yeah, this week. Like and a 3 0 advantage. So once again, Team Saskatchewan, Red Stones with Hammer here at three. Well, this is the kind of start we talked about when we looked at the keys for success at the beginning of the Mine's game. Wait's really good. For Matt Dunstone, started slow yesterday and then clawed his way back but could not get back far enough to beat wild card he's digging himself a bit of a hole here in this game lots of ends Perfect. to still come Shot, deuce. but really New Brunswick good. will continue oh, to apply pressure ignoring those corner stones and trying to make it come around a little bit better so that it's in front of the t-line it's all there and then Matt will have to deal with them back here right now yeah he's back for you know, Kathy, back there's four. high corner guards, and then there's that one just thrown by Saskatchewan. That is uh, the higher the better. Just leave it. way up there by the hog line, but in play and doing its job. Another one coming in deep. What, what is an ideal hog-to-hog yes. -hog time right now, Kathy, on draw weight? Probably about 15 and a half. It's very, very quick. Nose is fine. And is that just, you just got to convince yourself, I got to yep. push out less. I just have to trust that because, you know, it's one thing to hear the split time, but when you're coming oh, out, oh, you've thrown a million oh, oh. rocks in your career and yep. you got to slow it down. Oh. It's lightning Sweet. fast oh. and the arena ice oh. is really hard underfoot. So yep. you're at the hog yeah. line faster than you would oh, be nice. normally. Good shot. Hair. Good oh, shot. beauty. Great shot. And now with those two stones in the back 12, Matt Dunstone is no longer concerned about the fact good, that they eh? are two really in the house belonging to New Brunswick because they are so far back. Those are stones that he can utilize if he needs to. He can freeze down to them. His opponents can jam on them. Sure. I like it. You're good. Line's nice. That's pretty good. And there you go. He talked Line's about stealing too. that oh. win last oh. night versus Line's UConn in side. the 10th Stop end. Me. And continues to get the job done and scoring without hammer. Yep, Paul. Yep, go, Paul. Good, good, good. You're good. You're good. Yep, go, Paul. Very nice weight. 
Okay. 15, Cap. Try and freeze it right on the nose, buddy. Okay. So you could use the corner, Cappy. They ice. threw them up. Yes. You could Looks play like this it. shot. Is there anything in particular? Is one better than the other at this point? Well, I think the concern, quite honestly, is because of where that stone is. If that stone was in the back like the other ones were or it was much higher, you can expect that Matt would try to utilize those try corner lights, but because it's good. four foot, he line doesn't line. want line's his good. opponent line to line come line around line again no, and lock line. that stone there off if he's behind the Go corner ahead, because good. that all of a sudden isn't anything. helpful. So we'll try to freeze yes. down to that stone. You're on the nose. Top floor. Get ready, Lucy. Okay. Yep. Get whoa, 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 whoa. Sarah, yep. Sarah, yep. Sarah, yep. Sarah, Curl, curl, Very nice. Good shot, Kat. Lovely as Catlin Schneider. Quarter. Perfect weight. Yeah. That's pretty good easily. Yeah. Really gradual. Eh? Mm -hmm. Didn't look like he was too like he slid. The world here. And for yep. Paul now needs to sit well, on top of that stone so that any play made by Saskatchewan to remove their stone while it leaves them shot, New Brunswick can then go That's and do there. the exact same thing to get shot back. Oh, Tammy. Back eight. Yeah, and sometimes deep. you throw corner guards, Brian, and you just never get to he's use real them. deep, James. Uh, he didn't like it right That's out of his hand. You could through. see by the grimace that that had way too much heat. We're going to be the hair, right? I know. I know. And the door opening here a little bit now for Team Saskatchewan, Matt Dunstone. Had a 77, eh? Yeah. I think I need a 415. Should be good. I think even 420 will be okay. We're just, this is top eight we're playing for. Yeah, I agree. Now those numbers, Kathy, are from right. Back line. There, we just missed it, but the back line, I, I and then it. right there. Hog line, so that's top a 418. Line's good, tight. Can't oh, go then. Four seconds. Hard line. Line's great. Get hard line. Some line's people great. do those splits. Some do the hog to hog. It, it's a number that means something Short, to the switch, thrower and switch. to the sweepers. No, go! Go, Deuce! Hard! Hard! Hard, cross it a hair. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's good. Whoa, off, off, off. So, Kathy, I found, and I mean, I didn't play at a high level, but playing your club league, and we had one guy we played with, you couldn't do that split time because he would push out, yeah. and then he would adjust and kind of pull back with his hand, and you just couldn't trust his split time. So you gotta That's, be careful, I guess. I that know. is very much the case with split times, which is why so many have gone back to hog to hog, what because if you slide out hard and you pull back, or you slide slow and you add, you're going to get very different numbers. So somebody saying, we oh, go. well, this is That's a number a we gotta go Wait, in good. terms of sweeping, nice, nice. isn't line. a reflection as much as if you actually watch bit. with your eyes, how does the person slide? Are they extending? Are they adding? Are they pulling off? That's a better guide, but the number that's always true is hog to hog. Hard! You got a good one! Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're top 12. Weight's good, right there. Just a piece of it. I don't want to line her up too good. Not just a bite, right? Okay. So I was Updates continue. Let's go to Sheet what? D, Alberta, and Team Nunavut. <laughs> no, and not. Jake Higgs is um, the import out of Strathroy, Ontario. So game, hopefully back some back Ontario game, support back. for Team Nunavut. Okay. Well, they certainly did last night. He made a wonderful shot on his first one, coming here, down no? to be shot in I front of those it, yellow dude. stones. But then Brendan Botcher made a lovely shot back to tick it over sideways. It currently is it. third shot. And so this is a draw against two. Christian's rock. Christian, yep. Needs the lid. Early in the week, but Jake is 70% with his draw weight this week. Go, go, go. Played in four Canadian on, mixed go, go, go. championships, but in his first, Tim Hortons Briar. And he wants nice to guys. find that Tim Hortons pin, and he will with a lovely draw. So a shot from Jake Higgs. Alberta still leads 3-1. I think rolling out is better than nutting it there. Because yeah, he just I'm throws a guard on it. Yep. Okay. So, normal? Half rock, two thirds with, with heavy normal. I think probably. Now really needs to open up the front. <coughs> I'm going to throw just smooth firm. What? Smooth firm. I think two thirds with smooth firm is perfect. Yeah, get the shooter. Yeah, take the shooter, Deuce. We talk about drag, Kathy. Well, that yellow stone right behind. Matt's broom, will that drag and hit the rocks in the forefoot? Uh, well, it'll certainly move it out of the way, and that's the bigger objective is to get that open. 
from right behind this one. Kathy needs to curl up. Yep, yep, Making its yep. move now. Bang, bang. Yep, 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 and it yep, does yep, 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 yep. just that. Front is opened up now go, for go, go, Saskatchewan. Go, 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 go. Matt Dunstone. Shot. Well, the shooter rolled partially behind cover. I had to sweep it. Good shot. It's fly. It's good. Did you see that fly? Yeah, I did. Right as I was about to release it, a fly flew right in front of my face. <laughs> no. How much you got? <laughs> All plus. Okay. Yeah, let's try it. Don't We've forget there's a long a guard up there. So visually from the hack, he's trying to make uh, a double. There not, you not, see it okay. on a stone that's yeah, very like hard to see. <laughs> I was chuckling, Kathy, because I was reminiscing. Didn't we have so squirrels pretty, pretty in Calgary on the ice? We did. I think <laughs> that's flies. Oh, oh man. I think you gave me more ice since I got here. Yeah, as long as we don't get birds, yeah. that could make a mess in a building. Way too much. In the uh, uh, 1992 yeah. in Garmisch at the World Championships, they were open on either end Action. and birds flew yeah. in. Come on. Yeah. Did what birds do. Oh, boy. It was an adventure. So You'd have to really scratch the ice with the brushing to make sure <laughs> your stone was okay. All right, skip stones here in three. Yep. And the first yes. on the way oh. from... James Grat. Got one, got two, oh. nudge it over. James Grat a James. pistol. And look Go at on, the James. yellow in the house. One, two, three, four, five counters right now Attaboy. for Team New Brunswick. Good shot. A wobbly. Toss, bud. It may not look like Jimmy the Kid anymore, but talk about <laughs> results. A little wobbly. Good shot. <laughs> Wonderful shot. My traditional, uh, my traditional wobbly. Oh, it's perfect. No pictures on the scorecard. A lot of it's these so curlers are golfers, yeah. and it doesn't matter. Perfect. Just get the job done. And once again, Matt Dunstone Start to the hack with some of his stones, and he's looking at a ton of away. granite. Are we rolling my way? Yeah, okay. Two thirds. Sure. So Turn. this is the Turn. double and try Turn. to also Turn. roll Turn. the shooter. Perfect. Yeah. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. You yep, made yep, a beauty yep, in the first. Yep, 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 yep. yep, yep. Whoa! A heater yes. on the way here in three, Whoa. Matt Dunstone. Make the double, roll over, okay. shooter too that, far. Gets some that. yellow spilling out though, and now just okay. two remain. And relatively open up front for Matt Dunstone. He does have hammer here in three. Sorry, buddy, good throw. No worries. Score updates, wild card, UConn 2-2 two, two tie. And PEI yep. a one of the advantage over Team Jacobs, Northern Ontario. Rather uh, block the intern on. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Full eight. Yeah. I'd, I'd air at full 12, though. Okay. Oops, sorry, right? It's a little quicker than coming back this way. So I gotta take a little off. Yeah. Last I'd appearance for feet. James Gratton was in Regina back in 2018. He had a three and five record in his Last record above 500, Kamloops, 2014 at six and five. Well, for James oh, wants to force the draw to Saskatchewan. Matt's made some I'm wonderful good. hits. He's Jamie. known as an upweight hitter. And so for oh, good. James, the okay. ideal Ready spot up. is 12 foot, protecting the two stones that are currently shot and second shot in the house. If you come too deep, you create a triple opportunity or a hit. Yep. Oh, 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 sit, 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 sit. Come on, James. And with the <laughs> nose hit, I don't know if your shots don't, don't Kathy. Oh, boy. Close, if you got that little roll inside. Yeah, I, I didn't throw that very hard. Yeah. That's a really good outcome. Making him think anyways. That's a good spot. Great shot, but yeah, yeah. perfect. Like a heavy like draw kind of thing to it. Yeah. It's what do you think of this for ice? That's fine, I think we threw a few here. Like, I don't think, like, are you thinking a cold, Cold draw? No, I'm thinking that. Yeah, I think so. Matty threw the exact same shot I threw on my in the first end. Just a heavy, heavy that, draw. Yeah. You, I was outside middle eight. How's that look? That looks good, buddy. Just like think. 
tee on your own sort of thing, hey? Yeah. Yep, I think that'll be nice. good. Is that good yeah. ice? I think you can Maybe take a sliver more? more. Yeah, I like that. So we know the big finish on these ice. They still be have nice to and plausible take on enough this one. It'll come in there for you. So what are to we get past here? that Yellowstone. 14 5 is okay. 14 5 is good, yep. 14 5 perfect. Let's get it running for us. You bet. <coughs> All right, Kath, let's play at home here. Are you going hog to hog with this one? I am. You are? Okay. And what do you think is the ideal time? I think closer to 15. They're talking 14-5. They've talked about playing down to that stone. All right. Kathy's got the stopwatch ready. As Easy. Matt delivers. Out to a drop, pretty final good. stone. Pretty good, and again, a tough shot, it's drawing good. versus three. Back Would love four. to put this right on the button. Oh, 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 Clean oh, oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. Back four. Clean. Fine on its own, I think. Yeah, we're up. Fine on its own. Almost what do you got, back. Kathy? 14-4. That'll boy. Good job. And really no brushing needed. Yeah, the buttons. backing doesn't need it. So some confidence and a point. More importantly now for our Team That's Saskatchewan. Amazing. They're on the board here at the Briar. It kicks in. Welcome back to Kingston at the east end of Lake Ontario at the beginning of the St. Lawrence River and at the mouth of the Cataraqui River. Beautiful parts of our country and of the province of Ontario. Flashback time. How about 1980, the Briar and Calgary? Al oh, Hacker. how cool is this? The final, Northern Ontario's Al Hackner, Saskatchewan's Rick Folk. Folk would never trail, then in 10, he runs Hackner out of rocks, bang. 10-6 the final, 1980. The last time Saskatchewan won the Briar, that at the Stampede Corral in Calgary. There was a rodeo after that. A lot of fun celebrating that win. And look at the drought for Saskatchewan. Now 40 years. Horses oh, below those teams have never won the Briar Tankard, but 40 years for Saskatchewan. As Matt Dunstone glancing up the big board here inside Leon Center. And that is incredible considering, Kathy, the amount of phenomenal curlers coming out of that province over the years. Yeah, it's a stunning number when you think about it. 40 years when the free guard zone was not in effect and it was an open game. Saskatchewan was so good. So many of the top teams on the tour were from Saskatchewan. But since that shift, Saskatchewan has really really struggled to win. So we go back to 1981 yeah. and look at the finishes. I mean, yeah. close, yeah. right? You look at Laycock, third, Simmons as well. I remember the gentle giant Shimko. That was Big at Gerald. Edmonton in 1999, and the list goes on. Well, some wonderful names coming out of Saskatchewan. So it's not as though they haven't been on the podium. Yep, but not the top, yep. and that's where they, of course, want to be. Hard, hard. Gotta go. James. Now, lots of time in this game oh boy. for Saskatchewan to get back in, but James Gratton is having none of that, playing a very strong game this morning, as is his team. Yep. Easy. Look at Ice Moss. Yep, it's good for easy. Catlin played oh, at the oh, 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 Canadian oh, Mixed Doubles yep, yep. with Shannon Birdshirt in Fredericton in 2019. And big congratulations oh, to Shannon and her teammates, Carrie Anderson, representing Canada in British Columbia later on this month. I can't believe it's already March. Time is flying. March 1st. We had a long February, too, the extra day as well, in the leap year. Firm control, up a bit, yep. no. up a bit, wait out, yeah! Whoa, whoa, close, yep, James! Whoa, 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 yep! No! Trying to utilize yep. those corners. And Andy McCann will Beauty. hit, the shooter sticks around. He's the veteran on the Very team nice. at 53 years young. 
living in Fredericton Junction. Oh, a great shot. Great weight. Oh, well yeah. read by James to get that roll underneath the corner. So Braden will try to utilize the corner guard that is closest to the center and get behind Top eight. the beat. Line's good. Hair snug. Top eight. Line's good. Close. Don't yep. want to. Top four. High line. Wait only. Line's good. Get your key line. Right here. This is your spot. Yep. This is the fourth briar for Braden Miscawi. We saw him as a third for Reed Carruthers a couple hard, hard, hard. of years. The Regina in Calgary and Shot. played with Brock Virtue out of Saskatchewan back in 2013. Yeah, just inside Gotta watch noses it though. We're rolling there, right? Half thinking just normal. Yeah. Yeah. Looking to run their own stone back. You can see that Braden's draw is over buried. Normal. Yeah, normal. Oh. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Andy. Oh. Yep. Ball Dobson Beauty, sticks it. Lovely run back. Now came to play today. Has made wonderful shots starting from the first end. Nice control weight, nuts it and leaves that guard back up there again. Shouldn't do a thing. No, absolutely not. And so the run back attempt by Braden now to try to remove one, and if he can catch oh, whoa, it correctly, whoa. potentially both. He just didn't curl up enough, and he'll drive it through. And we'll miss the rocks in the house. Stuck underneath the worst case scenario, we have a run. Yeah, yeah, let's just make sure that this one's good, like like a good full eight, you know what I mean? Right here, well, we probably. Just threw, we just threw the best path. What yep. do you think this is? This is five feet slower. You know the one I threw back eight? Yeah. Yeah. Probably close to that, eh? Yeah. Close. Close. Okay. Yep. T line. Right in between those two. What they'd love this stone to be is the shot stone to force play away from those corners and make Matt Dunstone in Saskatchewan chase out in the open area where there are it. no guards like that they're going I to like roll like behind. It. This is a this is going. It's cruising. We're all air, James. We're real deep. It's got, it, is, it? it is coming down. It doesn't look that bad. Just tee. Just tee. Tee line or better is fine. Looks like it's there all on its own. Oh boy, Paul. Nice toss, bud. <laughs> that came out spinning. It was hard to read. Hey, good throw. Boy, Paul. Good throw. He's trying that roll, but we got to run ours. He's got to hide. Nice toss, bud. That's all he's got. Nice weight on the first one. He could slip if you want. Yeah. Hit and roll's pretty nice if you get anything under there. So if he ever plays the run and doesn't make it, now we forced him. Yeah. There's no force with the slip. Like the hit and roll cap? Sure. I think you got to. I think it's our only chance at a force. Yeah. If you make the slip, he goes around, then we have to just give him two. Mm. Make the hit and roll. If he misses the run, we can force him by hitting that. As they discuss things, let's go to sheet A. Wild car, UConn in a 2-2 tie in that yellow, yellow stone. Like as Thomas Goffin made a nice throw with his final rock. That's the shot stone on the button. One to come here from Mike McEwen. Well, he was trying to freeze down into a pocket and just grazed off the red stone that's in the eight foot a little bit higher. And it is... It's not open from the hack, but because that guard is so, so long, oh, oh, oh. an opportunity yep. with the right whoa, whoa. weight for Mike whoa. McEwen yeah. to tap whoa. it back whoa. for four. Whoa. Curl. Gotta go, Colin. Colin Hodgson trying to really carve go that by. over. Curl. Gotta go, bud. Curl. Gotta Curl. Go, bud. Trying to get it to move over, get a yellow. piece Ori. of the Ori. yellow, Ori. taps Ori. Ori. it. How far will it go? Wow, far enough. Very nice. And there you go, four for Team Wildcard. The last two scrubs from Hodgson, the difference. 
That's interesting. That almost ran better there than it did when... Wait, it's nice. always discussing oh, 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 oh. paths in the ice, and they'll take Clean. it. So oh. up by four. Clean. And back to Whoa. our feature. Again, tough Whoa. times here for Matt Whoa. Dunstone. Yep. Whoa! Whoa. Without Whoa. hammer here Hard in four. Wanted to roll inside a little bit, and he Try. will. And I believe that is the third shot stone. I agree. Go, Matty. Oh, boy. One, two. Line two. Where's the One, two, ball? yeah. Uh, yeah. He'll try to roll. James. Just yeah, you, you kind of want to maybe be back there. He might have this around. So as James you know? Grattan discusses his roll, options, roll, we'll look in on yeah, sheet C. PEI Northern Ontario and a low scoring game thus far. Hammer belonging to the 2013 Briar champion winning in Edmonton, Brad Jacobs. And I believe second shot rock, Mark Kennedy was looking it over. What was, do you think, Kathy? You know what, I don't think, I don't know that we know, and I don't think that Mark Kennedy knows. No, no, and so no. this is a quiet no. weight shot Whoa. by Brad Jacobs. Where? If he Please. can yeah. hit it on the yeah. nose, it's one for sure. Whoa. Whoa. And Whoa. then I expect Whoa. that you'll see a measure Whoa. to see whether Clean. this is for two. Clean. Clean. Whoa. Clean. Whoa. Well, Chatting EJ with Mark Glenn. Kennedy yesterday, he says Glenn. it's still Glenn. weird to Glenn. be wearing Glenn. those Glenn. colors, stop, but stop, proud stop. to be on this team good, good, good. and good. Don't touch those two. representing you Northern Ontario okay. for the first time. So one for sure. Good shot, Brad. Real nice. And I guess they said two. I heard a two there, huh? so it must be two on the board. Thanks. And Northern Ontario yeah. up 2-1 over PEI. Well, back here, no point in making a play against that Matt Dunstone line, line rock already Four lying down. two. And so again, James trying You're to force right play now. away Four from that two. guard, sit right on T. top T. of their so other stone T. to lie three. Can't overcurl yep. here. Can't overcurl here. T, 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 T. Gotta go. Gotta go, James. Gotta go. Beauty. Okay. Want to make sure they are one, two, and three, and I believe they are. Just lost the line a bit. It's close. Like, like, yeah, that's not close, sure. Kathy. Not sure. But objective Matt in that Matt Dunstone needs to play off that. Yeah, just lost the line at the yeah, end. Just a little bit. Good throw though. Plate was perfect. Just like the same, keep that same angle on this side. Yeah, I know. Hey, Matty. Hey, Matty, so give us a goal. Stone. Make a couple go away. See what happens. And look for Inch the big more. roll. Let me know in the roll, all right? Yeah. And you heard what James said. If that stone that he just threw is to the left about two inches, then the double, to get to the double, he has to hit it on the nose, and then he's not playing the roll. But because it overcurled a little bit, not only can you make the double, but in making the double, you shoot, your shooter is going to roll to the left. Yep. Yep. Heart. Final stone here in four. Matt Dunstone, bang. They both go, but it will be an open draw for two for James Gratt and Team New Brunswick. What an opportunity, a chance to go up 5-1 in this game. It's probably still fine. We could go here like I was last time. You have thrown that, yeah. Took forever to curl. Right, let's try that until they tell me different. Uh, this is the path from earlier. Well, he's taking a little bit more ice because well, he can't you know, risk over curling and no, not no, this fine. scoring two. Yeah, this is that path from earlier. Yeah. I can throw the same, probably? I think same. Yeah. And if you're sitting at home thinking, why isn't he playing the other turn where it's wide open and go to the forefoot? It's a great question because it certainly is an option, but James is trying to find a path that he's thrown in that he feels the most comfortable with. And this is a huge point. It's less. Well, good. Like it's less. an opportunity to go up four. I'm good. Gotta wait for it to break. Wait. And with this ice, it would I'm be good. nice to throw it to his brushers and let them go to work. His final oh. stone on the way here in four. As oh, okay. Jamie Brannon, Andy McCann. Oh boy. And all on its own, it will stop in time. And two on the board for New Brunswick. And a dream start this morning for Jimmy the Kid. A four-point advantage here at the Briar.
Welcome back to our Briar coverage here in Kingston, Ontario. Last time the Briar was here back in 1957, won by Alberta's I Matt know, Baldwin. And that was at the Memorial Center, a 10-0 record that year. And here in 2020, it has been all New Brunswick in our feature, led by James Grattan. And you look back to his provincials at the Capital Winter Club in Fredericton, Kathy. Top four, top four. He stole two and 10 to beat Jason Roach to get here to the Briar. A steal in this game, and with Hammer, he's getting it done as well as they lead by four here at five over Team Saskatchewan. And he's getting a lot of support from his team this morning. I'm sure when we look at the numbers after five, we'll see some great numbers, particularly at third. Paul Dobson having a wonderful game, Little continuing to put yeah. pressure yeah. again and again and again against Saskatchewan. Good line. Not, not, not Wait's really nice, Matt. Good pair, Deuce. Good shot, Deuce. Watch. Really good. Oh boy, Deucey. As he'll fill both Tim Horton's cups on this there, Sunday here. morning, so both yeah. cups of coffee are full with the corner guards from the rings for another rock Dustin Kidby. Like? I think I, I like, like real guard. tight. Yeah, right there. Yeah, this is the fast one. Now looking to guard again. Clean it. Let Knowing know. full well that Saskatchewan will start to hit. Where is it? But if you have two guards in front of that stone, it's going to take a number of yep. shots to change things yep. around. Definitely. Top four. Keep going. Keep going. Got room. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Okay. That works. So Kathy, with this system, the pool play, pool A and B, keep in mind, top four move on. This is the seeding coming into the championship. You see Dunstone is seeded seventh, already losing to Team Wildcard, and in danger of losing here to New Brunswick and James Grattan, the 11th seed. So still to come in this pool, obviously you got Epping strong, Cooey very strong, two teams that are obviously favorites, so Really, you need four wins. What we've noticed, Kathy, you have to have at least four wins in this mini tournament, and then you get to the championship round of eight, which begins on Thursday. You can't afford many losses. I mean, that's the story. A lot of good teams are not going to make Thursday. And in case you're wondering why the wild card team, Mike McEwen, was seeded three, they have to arbitrarily decide that before the event starts because, of course, yep. the pools have to be created when this event yep. starts, and that game yep. is not determined until the Friday night. And knowing that it's always the two best teams that, in terms of overall season, that did not get to this event, it's pretty safe to say that they're going to be a serious contender when they actually play in to the briar. Lines a sliver tight. Line's good. Well, now line. that that red oh, guard that belongs to Saskatchewan is tight line to the line house line. and can be run straight back, Where are we? Saskatchewan back taking back some back risk, back trying to utilize their corner guard and Lost. bury Might one behind it. We can't it. touch it. We can't even look at it. Sit. Good. Good cat. Pro. Shot. Pretty good. Jeez. Must have really, really jammed that one. The call here, huh? Hack, yeah. Good. Speed's pretty good here. So throwing hack way to get the finish on the stone to remove that biter that's at the back. Firm and there's hack. those wonderful yeah, numbers good. we talked about, yep. those yep, hits. Were some wonderful hit and rolls in the Hard first James. end. Hard James. Hard. Hard. Hard James. Right to it, Jamie. Hard. Right to it. Keep going. Jamie Brandon getting his money's worth on this shot just by the corner guard. Good sweep. Whoa, 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 whoa. And that's a great brush. Good brush buddy. As he taps it out, and New Brunswick line too. Good brush. Well, that stone was way further back in the house than Catlin had wanted to be. Good, yeah. 
And so for Matt, not concerned <coughs> with Last Rock, that that stone is back of the house. We'll try to get a better berry by Braden. Good line. Line's good. Little room. Top eight. Top eight. Line's good. Room. Top eight. Let it go. Room. Line's good. Line's good. Picking. Don't switch. Gotta be kidding me. Right. Halfway guard. Do we bother? Go around on the out, baby. I like the, I like that. Because if we just go, yeah, I like that. I know it's fresh, but yeah. I think you need just a couple feet more, Paul. Kind of, kind of what I, like, I think what way. you threw right here is good. Yeah. Okay. Your objective here is to take away that straight run back that Saskatchewan will play on their next. So quarter tuck the stone even, just something behind. I think that's all there, Andy. What do you think? Well, that's eight. Don't mind it. Room. We're room. We're right. room. Whoa. We're not T. Where is yeah. it? For T. T. Gotta be T, though. Yeah, gotta be T. Come on. Yeah. Gotta be deeper than that guy. Yeah, I gotta go. Well, then, if it's gotta not. Go. We can go. We can go. We can go. Go ahead. No, we can't leave a double boy. Uh, leave it. Leave it. And it's Get left in no man's land there as they were sort of caught, Kathy, in between. Easy and roll in. More board weight. This like is that. still gonna out count it though. Spin way over there. Or we just go straight yeah, split. It. I don't like that. I don't like that. Can you make the double and spin way over? Can, spin, but. Probably the best shot. Even if you just get it into here, yeah, that's fine. then you have to like come around. Bit. Can't hear a thing, but. He said, like. he said, even if you end up in the open and push the yellow back. He's, fine with it. Yeah. He's got to hit that and I wrap. Hey, yeah. just tell him to wait. Think just make the roll for now? Whatever you like, I don't. Board. Board. Come on. I don't love this. He just kind of like going for I don't the... love this. He just throws a guard on it. Try and roll this up here. Yeah, yeah. Normal. Even firm. I don't think okay. you see That's anything. Great. Yeah, I agree. It's good. You're going to... Try to hit an third. inch. Third. Still less. Third. Oh, less. Smooth firm. So a lot of discussion for Team Saskatchewan. Nunavut's Alberta. Let's pop oh. in. And it appears Wait, that yeah. with one to come, Brendan Botcher, a uh, chance here for three. Hard. Has that opportunity. Nunavut took a time three. out yep. to look at whoa, the situation. Whoa. 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 Clean. A great opportunity clean. here for Alberta clean. in a very tight game well, Kark. to leap ahead. Just clean. Meantime, you saw in our feature as Braden Muscali able to make that double. Yeah. Brendan Botcher can the tap through and another three for Team three. Alberta. Yeah. As Brendan Botcher up by four, a chance to improve to 2-0. and oh. Where were you here? Here? Yeah. Well, if we roll to the eight foot, Jamie. We thought about rolling into it and kicking a barrier, but then he's probably buried next shot. If we rolled, where we where are we rolling? Well, I, I'm picking just nose. Let him try the roll, then I have a run. Yeah, okay. But rolling he took it all. That in. The red's in. The red's in. Yeah. Got. Okay. Well, either I roll in and kick mine buried, and then he plays a straight back or, or a double, and then he's buried, then I have a run. Or I just nose it, let him make the roll, and then I have a run. So either way. Huh? Can roll to the eight. Yeah, foot. I think I can roll in, and then if he makes a double off of these wide open. Yeah. Just roll a foot. Okay. Well, for sure you're hitting on this shot as the redstone start to build up in the house and with your advantage. The question is, you heard the discussion. If you play the hit and you roll and you tick your stone over underneath, it might look Control. good. Whoa. But the stone that's Control. close to Please. the house that will yep. be run back yep. belongs Whoa. to Saskatchewan. And then yep. James Gratton has a tough shot. Yep. So he wants Whoa. to lie Whoa. two or three if he hits it on the nose. Oh, yeah. Like that. Oh, yeah. okay. And then let Matt Dunstone make that hit and roll underneath his red. And then he'll have a double he was always gonna on have his this. final. Yeah, yeah, kind of nothing. 
Having a perfect morning thus far, James Gratton. <sighs> Good throw. Didn't have much throw anywhere over there. Yeah. All right. Updates continue. Gathley, back to work for you. PEI, Northern Ontario. Brad Jacobs, a two, one advantage, one to come here in five. And it looks like what Brian is playing is the tap on that red stone right to the lid. No access on the outturn side. But this is a very tricky spot. You have to hit it, tap it back, but it also has to go to the right as you look at it to get to shot. Brian Cochran out of the Cornwall Curling Club in Prince Edward Island. Wait's okay. good. Playing with Wait's Ian good. McCauley, Morgan Heavy Curry, board. and Marco Rourke. So his final Fine shot time. on the way. Meantime, in our yeah. feature. Matt looking for a big roll. And not oh. as much as he Whoa. wanted on the nose, basically. Whoa, Whoa. So he lies one wide Jeez. open. Meantime, back Matt, to the right update. Here. Looking for that little pick inside. It does roll enough. It'll yeah. be a it's one. It's steal, steal of one, one for Brad Jacobs, Northern Ontario. Oh, as they're up two after five. He's just so not the roll in our feature, Kathy, that Matt Dunstone was looking for and available yeah. here now for James Gratton. I think steal of two is alive and well. Sure. You could play it with like easy where if you hit half or off you still get one mm -hmm. if you were going to play it plotting it out assuming Just, that james yeah. will make this shot control yep. oh. uh, great numbers back in 2010. game versus quebec Heart. make a crawl keep it can Heart. try to get this over carving it over oh boy what? Just avoiding the jam, and a little off, eh? it'll be an open hit off, for yeah. the single now for Matt Dunstone. We mentioned his two bronze medals, 97 skipping himself, losing to Manitoba's Vic Peters in a semifinal, then in 2002, playing third for Russ Howard. He lost to John Morris. Team Ontario in the semifinal hasn't board. made the playoffs yeah, since almost easy. way back in 2002. Same weight? Yeah. Okay. It's been all momentum. Team New Brunswick and this young man, 24-year-old Matt Dunstone, has seen a lot of granite when he gets in the hack to throw his final stone. Same Obviously way. a case of Hairborn. getting down early in a game and having to have rocks in Whoa. play to try crawl Clean. back. Same way. Clean. Yep. Try. Nice down weight hit on Not the boy. nose and a single for Team Saskatchewan. But James Gratton and his team out of the Gage Golf and Curling Club, they've been in control, they lead by three, and they also have Hammer back when we come back to play six. The 2020 Tim Hortons Briar is brought to you by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. Of history here in Kingston. It was the capital city until 1844. The Kingston Royal Curling Club celebrating its 200th birthday this week as well. And the Leon Center, home to this year's Tim Hortons Briar. As we bring you the numbers after five, and it's been all New Brunswick when it comes to momentum. Kathy, what do the numbers tell you? Well, if you look in the far right column, the score on the top and the percentage on the bottom. They do match up, but when you dig inside, I talked about the keys in the beginning being the matchup at third. Well, it has been a story, but it's not been the story, I thought, with Braden coming off a great game last night. Paul Dobson at 88% to Braden's 75 has made a huge difference, but when you look at skips, Matt Dunstone at 72, James is perfect. Numbers after five are brought to you by AGI Equipments and Technology Solutions for Agriculture. As James Gratton enjoying a lead, a little timeout before we get going. 
He's got Hammer in six. When we come back. The 2020 Tim Hortons Briar is brought to you by Home Hardware. Here's how. By Tim Hortons, the official coffee of curling Canada. And by Scotty's, Canada's number one tissue. It's for sure really exciting. We want to improve the record of Team Quebec over the past few years. I think we need to for sure step our game up because we're going to play against the world's best teams and hopefully make a few good shots here and there. It'll be just kind of overcoming the extra things that are the Briar, the Mecca, major event of the sport. So if we can keep the distractions to a minimum, which I think we'll be pretty good at, you know, I'd like to see us be around for most of the week. And that is our feature this afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Make a note on TSN 1 when Vic, Russ, Kathy have you covered. Jason Gunlickson in his first prior appearance. And Alec Bedard, a great story. Six seed in the Quebec Provincial Playdowns. We saw him, Kathy, at the juniors in Shawinigan in 2018. Yes. He had a 5-5 five and five record. And what a thrill. Your first prior. So that is the feature this afternoon on TSN 1. So through five here in our game, Saskatchewan at New Brunswick. And for James Gratt, it's been a dream start. Three points early, leading after two ends, scoring a two and four. Only singles for Matt Dunstone. So after five, if your team's Saskatchewan, you have a chance to decompress, have a quick chat, Kathy. What does Saskatchewan have to do to get going Good way. in the last five of this game? Well, they need to relax a little bit just pushing a little bit too hard and I think that you know we talked about the experience from James Grattan well he also knows how easy it is to give up a three-point edge so expect for him to try to keep things very similar to how he played in the first five no sitting back on your heels continuing to force a struggling Saskatchewan team pretty good eh? let it let it stop let it stop Got boy. Good, Good shot. Job, Good. Yeah, Dustin Kitby, some nice shots and numbers in this game as well. He's in his second briar. He was the lead for Adam Casey. Hair, yeah. Out of Saskatchewan in 2017. That great briar in St. John's. Yep. Little up. Oh. Clean. Yep. Clean. Yep. Okay. Well, James. Good line, little room. Yeah. Line's good. On only key line. Okay, oh. let it work. Catlin, Braden, and Matt Dustin Moore. all living in Regina, and Matt Dunstone, Matt Dunstone is living in Kamloops, British Columbia. Always do back four, back eight. It's back four, back eight right now. Skinner we buried. talked about yep. some of the discussions that yep. Saskatchewan Our would have deuce. had Our at the deuce. break about hard, relaxing hard, and hard. finding out what's going on this morning. Well, you look to who their bench is, oh, and there's one of the best in Adams, Kingsbury's very well, good with analytics. Was, he looks at yeah, when yeah, teams perform well, game. how do they do, what are they doing? And he would have broken it down to them in very simple terms about what he's seeing about their body language, what he's seeing about their attitude, all of those things that have probably shown him that the team that he saw in the first five is not what it can be in the second five if they're going to win. We saw Adam a lot working with Rachel Forward. Holman's team oh, for a yes. few years. Yep. Yep. Roll it. Gotta roll it. Okay, you're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah, you're good shot. And sometimes somebody just getting away from talking about hits and draws, but about what he's seeing on the ice. I'm feeling that there's a sense of anxiousness by Saskatchewan not to have the results that they're expecting to have. And sometimes when you go into a game, and you circle those big teams. You're circling Botcher and Cooey. Go ahead, Dan. Go ahead. Those kinds go ahead of teams. You Line's good. But you Line's have to room. bring Line's that room. same game and intensity to every we? single game that you play, or you look at the scoreboard and you're down ball. three without playing Go ahead, dudes. Six. Leave it. Go ahead, dudes. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Higher the better, I think. Hard. 
Yeah. You know, in his sit-down, Kathy Matt Dunstone talked about the highs and lows of this season. They struggled at the Canada Cup in the Duke in 2019, failing to get a win, but they did win their first Grand Slam event this season as well, getting some momentum and some confidence from that. And there certainly are highs Control. and lows yep. during Control. a long curling campaign. Oh, yep. Gotta go. Gotta go. Hard, 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 hard. Really gotta go. Keep going. Hard. Keep hard. going. Hard. 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 Ah, very sharp. Good sweeping. Been a lot in here. I'm not really happy yet. But. Yeah. So I was well, you had to hammer that for top eight last end, eh? Yeah. Okay, so I need yeah. five more than that. Yeah, five is good. Six yeah. So even. Matt not trying to hit his way out of this end. He could elect to play a hit and roll nice <laughs> on that second shot stone over underneath those two guards. But instead, we'll go around with Braden. Like D-line. Little room. Line's good. Easy, Line's good. Easy. Room. D-line. Line's good. D-line. Little hot. Back room. four. Back Line's four. Good. Room. Little hot. This yeah. is your spot. Line's perfect. Line's this perfect. Spot. How's yep. line? How's line? Yep. Hard. Hard. Good shot. Real good. Good shot, Moss. Very nice. Four five. Hard. 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 Even the high. Just get rid of the high one. Not worried about that. Whatever you want. What do you like, Paul? It's pretty early. Just peeling the top one, he could elect to run one of his own stones oh. into Amy. the shot stone. Gotta go. Yep, yeah, keep going, keep going. <laughs> I like that better anyway. All right. Why is that better, Kathy? Well, it's, you know, he's trying to open it up. So whether he opens up the long one or the short one, Matt will put a guard. What he's feeling is that right now, if the stone is not replaced, you can see that there is room through that center line to get two shot stone. Not too bad, actually, eh? Geez, that ran real straight. Easy or late to can. Yeah. Two thirds. Two thirds. Line's good. A little hot. No, don't sweep it then. Don't Two sweep thirds. it. Let it work. Line's good. Weight's good, just we're, for line. We're pretty tight. Weight's really good. In's not bad. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're yeah, we're just for line, in. Matt. Go ahead, Let us know for line. Deuce. Yep. Whoa, whoa, yep. Hard, deuce. Hard, 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 hard. Hard. Shot. Good. And nicely replaces that stone. Oh boy, good, good spot. spot. Oh boy. Yeah, good spot. Trying to wait. Control. Oh. Okay. James being very patient at opening up the front. If this were his last stone, you can expect that he would run his own in. Control. Yep. To oh, try to oh, score oh, four, but lots of rocks still solid. to come. Just trying to make sure yep. that things are open or as open oh. as possible. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Paul Dobson. Stay with it, James. And his yep. shooter. No, no, no. We're good. We're good. It's going to hang on. Good toss, Paul. Nice shot. We have the in off. Good speed there, Matty. It's like uh, high 14s to T. Are we yeah. just going to keep guarding, Matty? Is that what yep. you're thinking? Going. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, speed's nice here. Let's have a peek now. Here we go. Ludovic's so you're Alberta, the inside sweeper, Christian. And it's a four point uh, deficit for Jake Higgs and his team. And they've talked about this for a while, Kathy. There is an opportunity for the double, and I think they're playing it. Well, I think he is. Brendan Botcher was trying to go around the guards to lie shot on his final stone. And whether it picked nope. something or he was just very nope. light, it is that yellow guard that you see One more. in front of the house. So if you can hit that yellow stone just right of the broom, I don't know, it's for less, than, less than half for sure. Oh, it's about a third. Yeah, a third, and then drive it over. Try make the double. Get right back in this game. Yep! yep. yep. 
So yeah. final still on the way on GD. Hard. Hard. Jake Higgs. Yep. Yep. Roll it. Yep. Roll it. And he hits the wrong stone. Will he get lucky here and clip it over? And it'll settle, and I think it's for two. Reds, two. Or you want to measure? So two. Yep. Darren Molding having yeah. a closer look, and he two. agrees. <laughs> Thanks, Darren. So two, two on the board. <laughs> and Jake Higgs and Team Minovitz within two now. But it botched it with Hammer. Pretty tight. Top 12. Little early. Top 12. Meantime, you skip stones now. Eight, yeah, we can. Good. Six in our feature, the first from Matt Dunstone. We're top four. Top eight, yeah. Queen. Top eight. Doesn't need to curl. Right to my broom. Doesn't need it's to there. curl. Does there, not need there, to curl. There. Cats are Yep, go, 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 go. The more the better. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Brutal. Pretty good. Shot. Okay. Maddie. Good shot. It's not pretty bad. good, Maddie. Well, it curled so far that that hole is now still there. Good job, man. Well, that's what he can see when he sits in the hack. And that is enough because There's we've seen in that path that? that it will yeah, curl I mean, with the right Paul weight. Had, that's Paul's line, isn't it? Yeah. So if Matt's stone is right here, that shot's not there. But because it's not, there is certainly a way to get through that hole and remove the stone. We're bored. Control. Whoa, 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 whoa. Control. It's yep, amazing. Yep. James pushes out. He's yes. got the broom to help him stabilize, but doesn't even use it. All legs yes. when he comes out of that hack. Finds the hole. Bang. Right in the nose. Makes that redstone go away. Yeah. Huh? Now he gets through, but he's frustrated he didn't roll a little bit because he knows he's given Matt the same shot back. It's good. Yeah, it would have been nice to roll somewhere, though. Mm. Hair, Hair high, high to steal it, too. This, I can't really roll to any great spots, eh? Like he's always going to have that risk-free, yeah. right? Yeah. I think this it's is our best shot. It's pretty natural for you, too. It's a third? It's a third, yeah. Okay. Quarter, Middle I don't even think will kill us. Oh. Middle Into. stone? Talking yeah, about the double. Yeah, just smooth one. Hey, you don't have to whip it. Doesn't need to be a bomb. You like this? So the reason that Matt is not going through the hole is, first of all, it's tough. And if you ever tip, you, you give up half? a bundle. Uh, the other challenge third. is it's hard okay. because that hole is so right, small sure. that if you go right through right the hole, you probably don't roll anywhere. And you give your opponent the second, the same shot again. So this is playing the double yep. off the stone right Didn't behind the broom. Really onto the shot stone on the lid. And then you will get some momentum and either roll across the top or if you nut it you'll be buried behind one of the new brunswick stones the degree of difficulty whoa. has certainly been up there this morning I mean, yep. whoa. for matt yes. dunstone whoa. Whoa. Oh. without hammer facing right. a oh. bunch again trying to double bang across remove oh, it spin up move. a little bit go, 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 go. how far can they drag that yellow Oh man, it's close. Shot stone for sure, Kathy. Shot. I think second so shot, maybe there's Maddie. two. Hard to say. Hard Sorry, to man. Say. Great shot. Regardless, a great effort considering the situation yeah, again that he was him. facing. Great show. Oh, fuck. And a timeout being called by. James Gratton, Team New Brunswick, their first. Pretty juicy looking. And their alternates is I know Chris Jeffrey. Too, but and what's he'll that? Come out. I know one's big too, but it's not that tough. This here? Yeah. Well, if he's and he's only sitting one, right? Yeah. Yes. The only thing is, you don't like if you hit it thick, do you get rid of one of them? Yeah, uh, there's, there's a slight danger. I think that's the only Yeah. I don't like, I mean, I don't think I, pick, I, don't think I can option. ever give both of them past this guy. Right. You can't pick that. You can't pick that. Oh, 
you got a, you got a chunk of it. Probably nails yeah, it. Yeah, that's a good point. What about what about Chris's shot here? Maybe on the O turn. Just hit this. Yeah. Yeah. If it's there. But How much can you see, Jay? You can see half down there. You can, you can see, see, half, see half, half. That's just enough, isn't half it? Half is enough, but if you hit it thinner, it might come off it, and you score one yeah, that way. It's real hard to do that. The only thing I can't do is chisel the top. Too. You got this. That's for two. Into it. I don't. I don't mind that. One, yeah, I don't mind that top though. shot either. Two looks like the easier. Right too there. sweet. One's good too. What do you like? <laughs> that looks really good, but I mean, that's fine. You're a, you're out turn. Throw two, out turn with this. Two is pretty I'll good. I'll turn right here. I, I hit a, an inch of it, I make it. I do like that shot too. Especially on your out. Yeah. What do you, what do you like? Shot. Where would you put the Either ice? one of those. When you right get in the, the half, you might like exactly. that. Yeah, bud, you got it. Okay. So Three two games. discussions. Yeah, you hit this one really thin. It goes on to there, Probably it goes third, on to eh, there. Paul? That stone Corner goes. And then so the nice. two yep. yellows come into play. The other one that they talked about Pretty is just here, picking buddy. this one through the hole. But this stone is the problem. If you touch that stone that at all, quarter, it say. is shot. Okay. So they felt if he saw something different from the hack, if he thought that that shot stone was much more available, he might change it. He feels this has less risk. And this, Kathy, pretty much lights out. He makes this shot. And pretty much game over. He always does have a draw yep. whoa, whoa, whoa. for the single. Yep. Yeah. He's looking for big points. James Grattan, final stone, big heat whoa. on the way. Bang, gets the Reds ah. moving, jams the one red, though, and that will be, I believe, a steal of one. Yeah. 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 As Paul Dobson looks it over. And hit it real thin. I think red is shot stone. And he, he agrees. We hit about half. One red. Yeah. So a much needed steal for Team Saskatchewan. Really good throw. As they yeah. pull within two it's here at the Tim Hortons Pride. Like... Welcome back to yeah. our coverage of the Pretty Tim Hortons Briar here on TSN. Our first morning draw and the first steal of the morning for Team Saskatchewan. Matt Dunstone out of the Highland Curling Club in Regina. Maybe some momentum finally down like it has as James Grattan. I mean, that shot was tough, Kathy. He yeah. makes it. It's pretty much game over, but not exactly the angle he was looking for. No, and they talked about how one point like was really that important in that end. He certainly had the option of three that they never Boom, talked about, oh. which was just playing Lottery. the draw oh, to get about, shot and to here. take that right, advantage, right a four-point advantage into seven. But, yeah, Ryan, like, you know, heavy. if he makes that's that shot that we're not having that discussion yeah, no, because he's scoring a see. couple of points. Oh. That's the one that's just, oh, that's to and be he so obviously still about. feels comfortable being two up with. He just got out there to that wide path. Good spot here, eh, Deuce? Yeah. Easy early. Yeah, it's got a lot of spin on it. Too. Line's good. Room. Kind of spin. This is not good. Sit down. Sit. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit. You ever talk to your rocks, uh, Kathy, yeah. when you played? Does oh, it help when you yes. talk to them? Yeah. Yes, I talked a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, get out. Okay. Whatever it took. Yep, 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 yep. Gotta go. Andy in his third oh, Briar, all three oh, oh, with oh, oh, oh. James Gratton. Yeah, no it was an alternate one year too with Terry Odishaw back in 2012. I was hoping to get the double peel, just getting the top one so Matt will replace it again. It is a very lively building, which is wonderful for all the curlers, unless you're trying to communicate oh, no. up and down no, no, the there. ice, then it becomes really no, no, difficult. No, 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 so no, 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 no. you can expect that as momentum builds and as it gets closer to the next weekend, that there will be a lot Maybe of more. hand signals and the importance of looking up and also of thirds being down to discuss shots 
when it gets complicated with skips will be really important. Nowhere close. Kathy, it's a beautiful building. Leon Center holds about 6,700, also home to the OHL's Kingston Frontenacs, who are on a seven-game road trip. They're not back here until Friday, March 13th. They'll take on Hamilton. Not a great uh, season for Kingston in the Ontario Hockey League, but we're grateful to take over their building and some great fan support on this Sunday morning in the building as well. Well, and lots of links for Ontario. Obviously, John Epping is there team of choice coming from Ontario but you have Brian Cochran skipping the PEI team who's from Ontario you have Jake Higgs who is skipping the Nunavut team who is from Ontario so lots of Ontario folks here and yes one of the best fans ever and we are on one tragically hip way and of course we lost score down oh, way too soon back in October back of 2017 Don't yep. touch it. Yeah. And Lots of weight, Maddie. members of the track and hip, though, are actually pretty good I curlers. They're club wild. curlers. And a cool story, they threw the opening That's stone, really a few heavy. of them, for the 2017 really Travelers Curling Club Championship that was in Kingston. So it's pretty cool a piece of it. to be on tragically That's hip way at this year's Tim Hortons sit, Briar. Sit, sit, sit. Okay. And New Brunswick's not ahead by a century, but they're a fight two with Hammer in the seventh end. Yes. You know, I got to see the band live. It, it took me forever, and I finally got to see them live. On There you go, you see the sign outside. And I mean, Gord Downey, sadly, the news had already come out that he was having health issues. But boy, what a great show. Yep. And that was in London, Ontario, actually, where I saw them perform. So that was a special concert for sure. Good. Play Paul. He probably stops, yeah, right here. Uh, now looking for the freeze that the guards up front are gone. A little bit early. Late. Top four. How's line? Good. A little bit for line. Top four. Line's good. <laughs> Get it there. Line's perfect. Line's perfect. Where are we close? Yeah, Back close. four. Real Room. close. Room. Talk to me. Wait's good. Line's, Line's good. Perfect. Let's go a bit. Lock, Lock it on. on. Line's perfect. Line's perfect. <laughs> oh, oh, Does not oh, oh, need to curl. Line's perfect. No, no, no balance. No, Can't no, balance. No, no, oh, no, perfect. no. Wait's good. Oh, really good. Well, really good team shot. I love yeah. the discussion what? all the way down. You heard at one point Matt saying, talk to me because nice he's that trying that to call for line. Yeah, good communication between the two first, sweepers. Right? And a great throw oh, by Braden. So a very good team result. A little flop, get a pocket. Control. Yep. Oh, 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 Nose hit now gas, for New Brunswick. Gas control. Yep. Little down. Unlock their stone that's behind the shot yep, stone. Right yep. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Curl. Hi, boy. Hi, boy, Paul. Bang right on the face of that red stone. Very nice. Rose it. Boy, Paulie. <laughs> Top shot. Thing. Northern Ontario, a 3-1 edge in eight. PEI with Hammer there. And it is Botcher yeah. with Hammer yeah. up 6-4 hey, yeah, over Team cool. Nunavut. So kind of a and on Jake your Higgs own. We'll the rest. from Strathroy, yeah. Ontario. Kind of similar rate to Raiden's first, eh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bit off of that, Max, but yeah. I want to give you like T out of my hand-ish. Okay. You tap it, what? Trying to two and a half feet? Two tap feet? Tap the back eight, yeah. Give you uh, 14 you can five. Throw be, uh, 14 two five. That'll be close. 14 five. We have 15 on lock. Yeah, we're moving two rocks, two and a half feet though, right? Get it to back eight. Second Briar appearance for Matt Dunstone, the fourth rock thrower back in 2018 in Regina. Trying to back come line. back in our feature yeah, this morning. Clean. Through the house, through the house. He's trying to put it whoa, right on close. top of that whoa. New Brunswick back stone. Clean. And force. Wait's good. Clean. Whoa. Over Hair on Sheet A, wild card yep. team go. UConn. And really gotta go. It looks like <laughs> really gotta go. team wild card is shot stone, and that's <laughs> likely why that broom is down, and it is the draw for two for Mike McEwen. Okay. And a chance to really move ahead in this game. 
I, I didn't feel heavy. Line's good. Line's good. Running, it's running nice. Uh, it's not heavy by line. Not heavy by line. Line's good. You hear Reed Carruthers. He's in the house right now. Good Colin throw. Hodgson. Derek Samogalski. Oh, and of course, Mike McEwen. Look at that. Got making up Team Wildcard. <laughs> and right on that Tim Hortons yeah. button. So a commanding like lead up by really five after yeah. seven. Yeah. Yeah. I think we good stones. Good job, boys. Good end. Yeah. I think it might stay. Still think it's the shot, though, it isn't it? Stay. All right, get rid of it. Yeah. <coughs> Where you at? Peel. Well, it sounded like they were debating between do we protect that stone because you are shot, but if you're not perfect or any run back of any stone that you put in there, Matt Dunstone hits it, that yellow goes, and now you're chasing to find a way to score. So we'll try to hit it, remove both of them, and I even if he rolls air, out, but... wants to have a makeable shot to score. James Grattan, and look at the action on that red stone, and they get it all the way out, which was impressive because it was pretty much locked on, and that gives you an idea how lively yeah. these stones can be. That, yeah. Well, James has an old school back lift for the big weight shot, still goes to that to get that extra momentum and drive out of the hack. Thicker to stick it on the edge, maybe, eh? No problem to throw that big up no weight. But does leave Saskatchewan line one. Jamie's path still good, or is it fudging up there? I think it's, it's still good. James already charting out. He knows that There's Matt is going to line. go behind that guard, or at least to that side of the house, to force James and New Brunswick to take one. 14.75? Yep. Pretty good. Put her on the tee. T-line. A little back please. four. Clean it. A little heavy. Don't want to. Don't have yeah, to. Yeah, we're back eight. Oh, no. Grind, baby. Grind. Not a good sign when your front end Six. comes out of you. That's 1377. It's good. Need to find some paint. Otherwise, it could be a blank on the board. But that will Ooh. dig in. That dug in really quickly. Oh, boy. Good, good toss. job, Maddie. Really and the skip would tell you, just saving his sweepers, Kathy, for another <laughs> moment in the game. Yeah. Still good here? Yeah. Can I just throw the same as I've been throwing, or is it any faster here? Yeah, no, out here, that, this is that good path. Okay. Yeah. So you heard the conversation with his vice, Paul Dobson, and now with the front end, just clarifying that this is a path he likes. And he's been bang on with draw weight so far this morning. And just reaffirming with everyone that it hasn't changed since he threw his last draws. Because he's not had any issue on him. Easy, easy, easy. It's running like it's heavy. Easy, easy. Final stone Back on the way girl. here in seven. He's drawing a case, Shit. a couple of Saskatchewan stones. Really gotta go. No, he doesn't. And this has to grind down in a hurry. My goodness. What a mistake and a miss in seven. And just like that, a steal of two for Team Saskatchewan. Ah. And they are right back in this thing. It is 5-5 five, five after yeah, seven. The 2020 Tim Hortons Briar is brought to you by AGI. West Steel, Westfield, Batco, Nico, SureTrack, and more. We are AGI. Welcome back to Kingston. Electrifying highlights, shocking finishes, and everything in between. Get your brackets ready. NCAA March Madness returns on Thursday, March the 19th. Catch every game live all tournament long, only on TSN, presented by Expedia. 
beautiful look at City Hall, Lake Ontario. At the start of the St. Lawrence River. It's beautiful to walk from the hotel down to the Leon Center. And a good crowd this morning. And what a comeback, Kathy, in our feature. That's somehow, some way, Team Saskatchewan, Matt Dunstone, clawing back to tie things up at five and some unforced errors for the veteran, James Grattan. Well, James was perfect going into his last throw. Go, go, boys, go, 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 go. No reason to expect that he would miss that draw to the eight foot, but just that little bit of extra weight. And we have ourselves a tie game. And probably more importantly for Saskatchewan, oh momentum has shifted. It's funny, you could argue last night UConn got grattened as yes. they came back yes. and took the win last night. And now Saskatchewan trying to do the same to James Grattan and Team here. New Brunswick. Yes. Well, for Team New Brunswick, important just to pause and take a breath and remind yourself you're tied up with. And when you come into a game any of the games that you're playing and you're you're knowing that you're going to have a tight game if somebody said you're going to be tied up with playing eight you'd say great i'm going to score two and eight because that's an important end to score in and you move forward so you have to park the fact that there has been a steal and a steal of two in good. the last couple better sliding pass Up four. better sliding pass Middle snug Line's where do you good. want it line's really line's good. good easy line's lots perfect. of room 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 too much room Not room too Deuce much room. Deuce is rock. Deuce is rock. Yep. yep. Deuce, Deuce. Deuce. Hard. Go hard. Hard. Go hard. Hard. Deuce. Go on. Hard. Go Deuce. Go hard. Deuce. Hard. 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 Nice shot. And Deuce would be Dustin Kidby. Some late scrubs on that stone as Saskatchewan lying two without here an eight. Moth. Yeah. Saskatchewan being very cognizant of the Solid fact hat. that yeah. they are Wait, so. below where they want to be Five on the time guys. clock because of their struggles and the degree of difficulty. And so they're picking up the pace. Important for New Brunswick to not feel like you have to pick up the pace because your opponent has. And a tough one there for Andy McCann. You can hear he didn't get out to the stick. One of the comments from the microphones. Oh. It did sniggle, I think, yeah, though. Yeah, it may. Hey, help me out here, Paul. Gotcha. <laughs> Here's the comment from James to his third. Help me out, buddy. We're going to need some help in this end to get it going with Hammer. Hi, half. Okay, line's hey, good. A little early if you can. Hi, half. Hi, half. Line's half. Hey, half Hi, half. No, line's, line's not tight good. at all. Halfway. 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 Line's Halfway. good. Room, if anything. Yeah, Halfway. Deuce. Yep, you've got to finish We're it. We're pretty tight now. No, we're good. Clean Halfway. It. Clean it. Easy. Close. Yep. Yep. Gotta go. Gotta go. Hard. Hard, Deuce. Hard, hard, hard. Whoa. Good. Good. Whoa. Good shot. Great spot. Well, that's what we talked about. So four minutes difference, which is about a, an average end between what Saskatchewan has and New Brunswick has. And that is strictly because New Brunswick was in control. They were very decisive. And Saskatchewan was scrambling, trying to figure out angles, how to get back. And we're just into the eighth, and you want to have four minutes and in. And so we're seeing a lot of movement by the Saskatchewan players to get in the hack and throw and to move much quicker. So Paul Dobson opens up the front a bit, but jams that red stone. So Saskatchewan still lying the two. Speed's the same as, as we peek over on man. sheet C and have a look at PEI Northern Ontario and Brad Jacobs lying the one. He is, and it was difficult to see the guard on the Tim Hortons Cup, but it is fully guarded, the Northern Ontario stone. So this is the force, needs a bite of the eight foot to score. So final stone on the way from <coughs> Brian Cochran. Have a look, have a look. Just easy. And his second briar was five and six in Halifax back in 2003. Lives in Russell, Ontario. The import, nice draw to pull with and one. So he's given Northern Ontario a good game. 
and he's got game. He won the World Seniors in 2019. So a nice draw from Brian Cochran. On a long guard by Little Brady. Yep. Little down. Yeah. Has meant that the attempt here by New Brunswick to yep. get that stone Wait, Wait, off of the forefoot, yep. off of the lid. Yeah. Watch the stone now make its break yeah. at the center line, trying to hold the line. Oof. Boy, Paul. And right on the nose, Paul Dobson. Good shot there. Well, and he Boy, just Paul. missed that top redstone. You don't want to tick and roll away the big shot was getting that shot stone away. Nice. Winning the battle so oh, far this morning. He goes here and we can't, we can't get it. And we freeze and it's a force. But we can't score. He goes here. Knows his best shot. Wait, Maddie. A little more, Moss. Kind of wait, Maddie. Just, ah. uh, just through, kind of in between the hack and, and through. Trying to replicate the weight just thrown. Hack. Just through. Hack. Yep. Yeah. Hard. And this is where it makes its break right in this it. path, Kathy. Oh, it oh. really starts to go. Touch it. Yeah, and they get caught right. in that spot. It's funny, Paul Dobson, his stone made that similar move and really started to break hard at the center line as we have handshakes now between Alberta and Nunovitz as Fred and Botcher beating Jake Higgs. And don't sleep on this Alberta team, Kathy. We talked about how great this field is. Team Canada, Brad Jacobs next door, who is a Briar champion. Brad Gushu, two-time Briar champ, yeah, I, I but Brendan Botcher was back-to-back Briar finals and he's off to a great like start to a like record. Well, he only scored in three ends this morning, but he scored three each of those times. That's why you see the nine. Is that good? That's good. Okay. That is good. Just can't overthrow it. Yeah. Just board. Yep. Trying to get the over curl to remove yeah, the Saskatchewan yeah. stone to bring three into play. This is going. And a big scrub to try. Get it by that guard again. Go, 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 go. And they can't quite squirt that yellow in, and that's that's a tough little path there at that center line. I don't think I got out to it either. There you go. Now we talked about his numbers. He was perfect after five, yeah. Yeah. but that Good draw, it's an 86%, yeah, right. but Just that one like that he got a zero on was the last end against two, and that's been the Ford story right deeper, now right? in this game. Player comparisons are brought to you by New best. Holland, yeah. proud sponsor of Curling Canada. With, we got whatever weight you like. All right, let's peek in on sheet A. Team wildcard, Mike McEwen. Team Yukon, Thomas Stoffman out of the White Horse Curling Club. Trying to get to the nose. It is wild card that is shot. If he can hit the red on the nose, both reds should pop, maybe even all three. Bang, big weight, and look at that. That yellow to the shooter, squirt in enough. I don't know, one for sure. A little lower. It was a good effort. So 9-5 yeah, at the very so least, possibly 9-6. They're going to put a stick yeah. to it. Yeah. So we'll get you up to date as soon it's as that measurement close. comes down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now given a second opportunity now to remove this stone. Board weight. Yep. Very deliberate pre-shot routine, same every time. Solid board. Yeah. Heavy yep. board. Yep. 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 Whoa. Heavy board. Whoa. Whoa. Close. Yep. Whoa. Heavy board. Yep. Hard. Yep. 
Okay. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Great shot. Really good. Beauty. There's the hit, rolls that shooter over behind cover. Nice. And in the last half okay. of this yeah, game, it has switched big time. Matt Dunstone saw so He's many right pressure middle, shots too. in the Great first job, few buddy. ends, and now that really throw. it's James Gratton's turn to feel a little bit of heat from this young skip. Well, he had the advantage after Matt's first one that he wrecked on the guard, but then he could. James got it going a little bit and Is gave advantage back. It or no? And so now has to draw again. Yeah, that's your earlier draw. I'm going to give you the same. Okay. Am I? Yeah. No more. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't. That didn't sell me. Well, needs full eight, and obviously, we know what happened last end. So he needs to settle down and make a nice one here for his team. That's Bottle Stone, good. James Gratton. Trying eight foot versus a couple. Looking for a single. We got hey, full eight. We're close. I'm good. And this time giving it to his sweepers. Full eight. Jamie we're Brandon, good. Andy we're McCann. Good. I'm fine. Doesn't need to curl. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good, Jamie. And looks right. like a nice bounce back well, shot man. and draw from James Gratton. Back of the board, he gets his single, and he's got the lead. But it will be Team Saskatchewan, Matt Dunstone with Hammer when we come back. Good three, shot James. And before we let you go, it was indeed a measurement and two on the board, so 9-6, wildcard still leading with Hammer over Team Yukon as the Briar continues here this morning on TSN. Welcome back to our coverage of the Briar here on TSN. Brian Mujer, Kathy Goche with you. It's been an interesting game, Kathy. All momentum early, and James Gratton and his team out of Oromocto, they really took it to Saskatchewan early, but what stands out to me, look at the steals, especially in seven teams. Saskatchewan getting back in the game, and now down by one, it is. Matt Dunstone, Team Saskatchewan. Red Stones with Hammer here at nine. Top four, wait, perfect. Hard, hard, cat! Hard! We're all there. Keep going. Oh, well, a little separation. Great shot, Deuce. Really good. Great Very nice. We talk about that momentum really swing. Sure, you see it so often in games yeah, right here, yeah. now we just where there's opportunities for a team to put somebody away and they I let like the them freeze. back in and they claw their way back. And so both teams now feeling very much the energy. You can see Saskatchewan walking with confidence now, feeling like this is their game. And after that great draw by James Gratton, after not making the one the end before, be New Brunswick very much half. feels that they're Dollar. still in this game. Whoa, whoa, then. And it's line, going yeah. to come down to Last Rock. It's coming down, but still no. back four. No, this thing's fast. Back eight even. Yeah, it's no good. Tolerance there was a little bit light. Wow. And the eight foot something that you That's could run too, back right? into. Yeah, eight rocks oh. <sighs> Sorry, boys. Faster. It's just still full speed. Yeah, yeah. It's not slowing down. Yeah. This is the time where yesterday we saw that in the slide path room it started right to slow down a little bit but Line's just good. a little bit Line. outside of that path and so Line. ran Top eight. Oh, no. Gotta be Top eight. where are we deuces rock line freeze the back that's too late yep, now yep, another yep, one yep. in a Any path is, that is obviously very quick that coming much deeper than they wanted as well Oh, man. <coughs> Not terrible. If he rolls off, we go again. You get it all? Yeah, you yep. wait. Just normal, though. Yeah. So for Andy to get to the nose or as much as he can, both will go and ideally like to leave his shooter right there. Yep. Gotta go, James. Gotta really go. gotta go. <laughs> ah! I've heard that comment, Kathy, a number of times, even from James himself. We're not getting, getting out, out there, there, out to the stick. 
So what they're doing is they're sliding at the stick probably, but then they're letting it go so that it actually curls over and not getting it so thrown straight it just a as Saskatchewan like calls a timeout. No? And my first thought was freeze the back. That was my first thought. Then they make this. Yeah. If you get it onto there, if you get it onto the back, I think you should always have a chance for two. I don't like this hit and roll at all. No, I hate that. This is just a game. Hey, what about this, boys? The only oh, that's thing, really bad. He, this goes here and this comes to here. He well, you play with weight, in. so you push it over here. I, I think this is the I shot. Hate that. I think that's the shot all day. Let him make that double. Anywhere he rolls, it's just a catcher for us to roll to. I don't think we're afraid of him making that double at all. No. It, he, here, it's more than, it's two shots Make this still double, to get to. probably just have a double and roll here. Right, yeah. Yeah. That's Real good chance at a two, maybe a three if this is hey, good. Shot. Did you see the intern? Seeing whatever turns cats in. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to be careful, right? Because he's got this yellow, red, red. Yeah, make it good. Yeah. What turn are you seeing, Cap? I'm seeing the out. Out so turn? The out. So they don't have Adam come out. Adam provides a very different role. So the timeout for Saskatchewan is purely about stopping the clock and having a chance to think through an end that has a lot of potential for them. So they are trying to go around that bunch that you're looking at to go to the back. Plenty of ice. Have another stone in play. They know that the force is going to be to James Gratton to hit some of those stones in the middle and maybe winds up jamming on their own at the back. So trying to go around the group like that. Good to the back. Go ahead, Dan. Line's good. Line's yep. real good. Where oh, are you? Line's perfect. Go ahead. Using that good. hammer effectively, Kathy. Line's Where good. Are we? Yep. Yes. No, their points today that have come, it's been a deuce, has been a steal, Brian. Switch. 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 To get it going with last stone in this game, yep. in this yep. championship. Hard. 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 Keep going. Hard. Hard. Good shot. Pretty good yeah. shot, Kat. Pretty good, good sweep, dudes. Oh boy. It's a good shot. And so the Thanks. double attempt again. Fuck you know, Kathy, I know it wasn't a curling trade per se, but you look at Ryan Fry, how well he's fit in with John Epping. You look at how great Mark Kennedy has fit in with Northern Ontario and Team Brad Jacobs. Oh goodness, on our feature. That is a tough miss. Meantime, Brad Jacobs, this team has had a great season. They lost their opener, Felt but trying to bounce to back against PEI. Final stone and a chance for a nice score. Well, a chance for oh, a good, big boys. score in Life's a game good. that's been very, very tight. A chance to break it open in nine with a draw to the paint for three. Good shot, Brad. Nice weight. And it was yeah, nice weight. It is the nice shot. There's three, three on the board. And handshakes, so that'll do it. So win number one for the team from Northern Ontario, Sault Ste. Marie. And both teams now one and one very early on in this championship. And in our feature matchup, just a tough one for Paul Dobson and New Brunswick. And that has the door wide open now for Team Saskatchewan. Drawing yeah, in and now okay. lying five with hammer here in nine. Well, the challenge has been, as you mentioned before, is getting out to the broom. On any sort of weight, the rocks will run straight. But if you help them or don't throw it cleanly, Anything you're else? going to get a lot of movement and Anything very else? little result. If you make the. I don't think he just knows it, don't you? If you make the. Yeah, it's two time, right? Go toss him. Well, New Brunswick also taking a timeout worth discussing. This is the game. Ball game right here. If we make three more doubles, we get out of this, but that's about it. <laughs> if you if you make the double on that and hit it like right on the nose, I he's probably, probably hit and rolling to this side. Do you want to go center line this time? I'm having a hell of a time with that injury. No, I'll throw the intern again. Okay. I'll throw, it. throw, throw like throw it hard. Like I, I, like up, right? 
what the fuck they're doing. Just and just make it I think nose is better just than make that. Make double. Yeah. yeah. Make it double. <laughs> I think nose is better than the nose, yeah. yeah. That makes them roll that way. Yeah. Well, it's interesting, you know, you kind of laughed when James said, you know, three doubles <laughs> gets us out of it. The challenge right, is going to be is that Saskatchewan is not going to group their stones to allow you to do that. So you make this double Firm. and hit it on okay. the nose. Matt's going to hit and roll. And now you're trying to find doubles. But what you are going to have if you Good make firm. this double is the potential to freeze on your final stone as good as you can if you have to. But for sure, some granite's got to go away. There's not a really good freeze opportunity right now. And it's early yet. You'd be looking at that on James. So Paul Dobson needs a good one here, trying to bounce back. There you go, double goes. Shot, Paul. I was giggling more just how he said it. His voice is just... It's been yeah. frustrating the last few ends for James Grattan, considering they just started brilliantly in this Sunday morning match. Hmm? You yeah. got to put like eight seconds back. Shoot, sorry, boys. Hurry up, Maddie. Fine, relax. <laughs> We're on timeout. Okay. Lots of time. What are you thinking? Just roll this always way. hit and roll that way. I think nose is pretty good. I think nose leaves a triple. Board, try and hit seven eight slow. Oh, I hate that. Right, let's let easy, let's throw easy at least. Or even Still nose. Like. Yeah, nose is okay. Okay. Yep. Nose, he makes the double. We go over there. Sure. Yeah, I think it's real good. Try yeah. and just try and just touch that back one, but. Yep. Board. Yeah, don't need to get cute. Hey, right, buddy. An out turn here. Yeah, that's fine, because yeah. we can always roll my way. Okay. While well, multiple that. points are on the table, Matt Dunstone and his team are playing for three. Even though it looks like there may be the potential for four, they're board. content oh, dude, oh. if New Brunswick heavy makes board. the oh. double. Curl. Clean. Whoa, 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 clean. Whoa, whoa. It's going to curl a bit. Whoa. Oh. No, 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 no. Three points will give them that two-point advantage coming home. Good shot. Yeah, good Brady Miscoe, nice curl at the end. And again, Saskatchewan line four. Yeah, it's good. Oh boy. Good throw. I think it's pretty tough to get rid of all. He can't. All right. But you got to cross it out. Yeah. Yeah, try it. Looking at the triple. Yeah, cross the face. Half. Might get, get all three. there. Yeah. Hit it this way. Right and out. Here. Get two anyway, right? Cuts them down to three most, right? Okay, you got it, bud. We might get three if we hit it thin on the button one, but get two anyway, man. All right. Down to skip stones here in nine. First on the way for James Grattan. Yep, close, real close. Yep. 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 gets one, gets oh two. Yep. And now you Shot, split dude. and go to the far side of the house. What do you want to see here? This is probably best, uh, eh? 14-5 here, Maddie. Yeah. Like 14, not just five. Eight, eh? 14 5 14 14 7 5 Yeah. Same as we've been seeing. Just take a little bit off when you threw that draw intern going away. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. All right, buddy. Top eight. Throw in the house. <clears throat> Big shot for Matt. An opportunity to lie three and allow no double opportunities depending on where Top he eight. places Good. the stone. Not heavy, eh? I think it's Have good, though. Top four. Easy, easy. It's got, it's got some curling to do. It's always cats. Doesn't look too heavy. Line's good. Top eight. Top four. Right to my broom. Easy, Doesn't easy, look easy. Heavy. No, no, we're there. We're top four. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Right on my broom. Right on my broom. Easy. Cat now. Cat now. It's there. Yep. Go a bit. Go a bit. Good weight. Yeah, nice. Good judgment. Really good, really good shot, bud. Great spot, Matty. Good yeah, throw, buddy. And how can really good. make another double? Great spot, bud. Thanks. Wish that thing wasn't there. I know.
What do you say? Jeez, I'd love you to make that. How much time we got? We got lots, eh? Nah, I think we're too late for that now. Late we're for three, that. we get, we can take two, right? Don't want to try to slash it. That's super thin. Just roll it in, I guess. Make them. Yeah. You can hit this one and roll there. Yeah, the double force mat to go around it. Yes, I. We talked play about low. freezing. Play I feel it's low. too late. Well, like, He's prepared yeah, to give up three, he but he wants to make off. it difficult. It's all yeah. just boardish, probably. Okay. And that's the option that they're choosing. So you try to hit and roll to the center line so that it is an open hit for Matt Dunstone, but he has to deal uh, with much. not hitting anything at the back. I uh, don't have much. No. All right, buddy. He does Roll have the top. freeze option on the back, but yeah. if it's not made perfectly, and these rocks are so lively that it's blasted out, he feels that this is his best percentage, knowing that he could give up three and plans to take two in 10 and steal in the extra. Control, maybe shade up. Solid control. Yeah, oh, solid. Then. Stop. Jamie. Jamie. Jamie Brandon trying to get a little more curl. And that'll be second shot stone. So the open hit for three for Team Saskatchewan. Should be uh, pretty patient yeah. here, eh, Cap? We got a there's, some, there's some crop there, Deuce. And a chance, Kathy, for their first be heavy here, Maddie. I can hold it here. of this game. What are you throwing us? Easy. Okay. Get the way right. There you see it stealing those three points in a span of two ends bet. in six and seven. And Matt is very deliberate in his pre-shot routine as you watch the clock tick down, remembering that Saskatchewan has utilized both of their timeouts in this end. And so solid, what is on solid. the clock is what they've got. Clean. Just clean. 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 Call it easy. Clean clean it all the way. Clean. Remembering clean. Too, that is oh, clean. the thinking time. So clean. you're not punished for throwing more draws or more hits. Good job, Maddie. Nice end, boys. Beautiful shot and a big three and a lead finally for Team Saskatchewan in this game as they have scratched and clawed Maddie, back and lead by two over James Gratton. Welcome back. Feature matchup. It's been a good one this morning. Very entertaining. Back and forth. Saskatchewan, New Brunswick. And that three stands out in nine. As for the first time in this game, Matt Dunstone has the lead. Now up by two. But Hammer belongs to Team New Brunswick. And James Gratton leads Stones on the way. And this one from Jamie Brown. Take a look at the room here. Well, hindsight is always 2020, but I keep going back to the sixth end and the comment by James before he took on a tricky double that one here would be really good. That would have given him a 6-2 edge, but that was the first steal, and then there was another couple of points that were stolen the next end, and then that three <laughs> leaps out at you on the board. So a tough job for New Brunswick needs to find a way to score two to force the extra. Yeah, I got back or do a Matt four, Dunstone last end and Please. find a way yep. to score three and win. Back eight. Back, eight. Back, eight. back eight. Yeah. Back four. Whoa. Hard. Whoa, it's back four. Hard. Hard. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep hard going. Hard boss. Hard. Great shot. Great call. Go to hit the guard. Good sweep. Your rack, your rack. Yeah. Trying to throw some easy you. weight Back and line. Back line, right? catch yep. some of that top stone and roll it under the yellow guard on your left as you look at it at the top of the Tim's Cup. Hack. Hold on. Clean hack up. line. Hack, yep. hack. Whoa. Yep. Hack. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Jamie. Yeah, go, James. 
Go, Jamie. That's not bad. Sick. Just heavy. Meantime, next door, handshakes between Team Yukon, Scoffin, McEwen, and McEwen another win as they beat Glenn Howard, the playing game on Friday, winning that one, and now back to back wins of the championship. So a 2 0 start for Team Wildcard. Back four, back eight. Whoa, whoa, yep. We talked about the fatigue yeah. for the wild card Back team whoa, whoa. towards the end of the week, but right now a huge advantage hard roll, hard just roll, having roll. one extra game on the ice. Not bad. Not bad. And for these two teams, Kathy, who run to a cast Team Canada corner, tonight. And Saskatchewan doesn't play until tomorrow morning versus BC, so it would have been real tough better. if they were to I think the end. have lost this Probably game and you sit on those two losses all day and not back on the ice till tomorrow, but yeah. what a comeback. I think control goes too far. For Matt Dunstone and company. You, I don't mind the out. If Whatever looks better. Let's throw the out. We might be able to roll this way. Kind of wait. So both in turn and out turn available through this hole. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Whoa, whoa! Oh, oh, they jumped that early. Not sweeper's mistake. That was a call by James early. And just catches the back side. A little early if you can. One and a half. A little early cat. <laughs> Easy, we got Dead line. Now good. it's all about plugging Wade's that good. hole. Line's good. Line's Pretty good. Pretty high. High half. Wait's good. Yep. One yep. and a half. Deuce now. No, just clean. Yep. Yep. Deuce go, Deuce. Deuce hard. Hard. Don't stop. Hard. Deuce has got to go. Go, 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 I think it's still there. Yeah, yeah, with board for sure. Yeah. Board? Yeah. So trying to navigate that port because that stone by Braden is so long, you're going to play it tight to that center guard on the line and yep. try to come through whoa, the hole. Whoa, whoa. Nice board. Is it just too Close. late, Kathy, to rip and try to open things it up is up front? Is it is way okay. too late. Yep. Keep going. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Yep, 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 yep. And a kiss, kiss off the Reds, rolls okay. in, top 12. It's not terrible. It isn't terrible. He actually moved some granite around and left his stone in a place that he can run it back. Touching and center. so Matt Touch will throw center. another Touch guard. Center's perfect. I think same slide's good. What was that, 40? 30. Same slide, hair more at. Yeah, just give it a little more. I like it. I think you can Top. go early. A little more now. No, Let no, it work. No, no. Let it work. Line. Line's good. Where are you? Pretty Line's line. good. Halfway. Line's Clean. good. Halfway. No, no, we are heavy, curl. if anything. Not clean. heavy. Doesn't need to curl. Halfway. Halfway to tight. It's just clean. It's got to sit. Halfway. It's got to sit. Not halfway. Let it stop. No cat. Sit. 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 Good shot. Good, Good shot. Good shot, Ma. Hello, boy. Drop. Nice. That goes nice over there, mm -hmm. hey? Yeah, it does. Like. Just have, have a rock ready, eh? What are we throwing here? It's pretty back good. Four. Back pretty eight, back four. Here. Probably right. blasting it out. Get, kill it anyway. Uh, do we want to stick though? Because it... trying Wait, to come here. through the hole with back enough eight. weight to Whoa. tap the stone back. Andy, Andy, anything you got, bud? Right, Andy. 
And he began all he can to try carve this over and get off the guard out front. Yeah, a little more, James. As New Brunswick running out of time, needing to try generate at least two with Hammer in this ten. I think if you come in, it's game over. Okay, just make that good. And if I'm up here, it doesn't really make a difference. Cause like what, like capping, you'd be have to go here. Yeah. And he still could do that. Yeah. You like coming right in, guys? Sure. That or just cap this, whatever you like. Yeah. I mean, if I'm up there, he doesn't have a thing. Yeah, I like that. Let's throw that. Up there? Throw up here, guys? Okay. Middle 12, right here? I think you can take blocks. Like, where was I? You were there. I don't think yeah. there's any I'd rather need to go out. in the house. He's got nothing with that intern. Not much. Nothing hey, with Wade. This is his best shot. So what? Yeah, we're going right Just cap it. Yeah, we're just spot. capping. Just throw us halfway, yeah. Maddie. Just cap it, eh? Yep, yep. you bet. Yes. Well, for Matt Dunstone, if he had to really think things through, there's not a lot of time left on the clock, but he may not have to even throw his second one. Or even if he does, it's going to be very simple. Where are you? Halfway. Lots of room. What do you think Easy. Yeah. Halfway. Just halfway. Lots of room. Lots of room. James Line's Gratton good. always has oh. a no, run in sideways. A little tight, Matt Moss. Off Clean. a corner a guard. Not yet. Yeah, we're two-thirds, Mosky. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Curl. Go cat. Go cat. Go cat. Anything off of it is big. Not bad. Okay. Well, he took away that angle. It is time for the game story brought to you by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada. Well, it really is six and seven that makes the difference in this game. All momentum early to New Brunswick, but Saskatchewan stealing and stealing and stealing their way back in. James Gratton was perfect after five. His numbers are still good, but the numbers he'd prefer are on the scoreboard. Yeah, they had a 5-1 lead after four, and that was when the tie turned to Team Saskatchewan. And that does still Well, that stone by Matt hanging out, it took away that run in of that yellow stone belonging to New Brunswick, but he left a hole. Yeah, it's gone now. It is running. Do I need more? You threw, remember that one that you threw here a couple ends ago? You're like about here? Yeah. We're not that much wider. Just a hair. I won't be heavy. I like. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. That looks a lot better. The challenge for James is how to score two. You can tap this stone back, and be shot. But if Matt Dunstone blocks it up, then you have to try to figure That's out close. how you can get that like second back stone yep. in. Back four. Yep. Yep. Hair heavy. All the way. <laughs> Gotta go. James Gratton, his first here in 10. Needs to get it by his own yellow stones, Fire! and they are coming up quick. Go! And he'll wreck yep. on his yellow. And behind the mess of rocks, and that'll be sure, a third shot stone, but looking real tough now to score two. That's the one? This is a shot for two. Yeah. It is a shot. Yeah, okay. you're right. You're right. What kind Any of weight? Normal third of a rock. What's that? Normal, Normal third, third of a rock. quarter. Okay. Like, even you if you know it. You seconds, Maddie. You don't have to rush. It's not the you end of the world. Angle run, boys? I don't think so. It's only for two then, right? Yeah, let's get make the roll. roll in the house, half right? a rock with Normal. This yellow one on the outside okay. is the only oh, way to yeah. make that double on those red stones that I see. And so trying to take that stone away. I, moved, uh, I had a good angle here a minute ago and I moved it's it. It's coming down to, what, now 10 seconds. He just has to get it off before the hog line. And you don't, I've been asked before, you don't team. lose Fur, the game Fur, if the time runs out. Heavy. You just can't throw any more stones. Heavy. Correct. And heavy the other team yeah. can just keep throwing and throwing. Oh, yeah! Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, what do you want me to do oh, with this? Oh, I got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Anywhere in the house is good. Good try. Good, good shot. Good shot, Maddie. Sit, really sit. good. Perfect. Good. So good, now Matt. what can he run back? I'm looking at that yellow and the Tim Hortons oh, cup. Good toss. Hey. There's not a lot here, say, Kathy. 
Well, no, because Matt Dunstone's first one hung out. Like that If that redstone's not yeah, there, that, redirect here. that yellow is great. You don't yeah. see that, that yellow? I think we got to hope that drags a bit. Yeah. You only got what, half? That or it's <coughs> just a sliver redirect. Mm. Uh, you're, never, you're still not getting to this one. That, throw, that. throw intern at it. Yeah. Can you not slice that yellow in on the cup? Try go bang Good bang, take here. the red zone, or is you that angle? You can't can. see enough of this one. I bet eh? if I throw intern hit what I see, it's pretty handy. Intern hit what intern you see. At what? This, James? Intern hit what I see on that yellow. Hope you yeah, stick it and score yeah. your two. I don't see any other yeah. way. I saw the shot made once. <laughs> I'll make it well, twice. Well see, to be twice. honest with you. <laughs> what are you doing? This? Yeah, intern. The only other thing is the red onto the yellow, but I think our yellow goes. It's so tough. You know, Matt was frustrated with his first one because it hung out, and yet by it hanging out, it, it blocked part of this stone. Give her a whirl, man. Yeah. And great support for good shots and for both teams and everyone on the ice this morning at the Leon Center. This would be the shot of the week already if he can pull it off, and it's early. Yep. In Jamie. Jamie. Final stone Jamie. in 10. James Gratt needs a miracle. Run it back. He'll clip the yellow, and through it goes. As Team Saskatchewan battles back. It did not look good in the first five ends, but full credit, 10-6 the final as Matt Dunstone and his team out of Regina finding a way. Fucking right, boys. Fucking right. Had to have. So we update your standings. Pool A, Team Wildcard out of the gate. 2-0, plus the win obviously on Friday to get into the main competition. And Brendan Botcher as well. Another victory this morning. He is at 2-0 very early, but always important to remember, you take your record and your losses and your wins with you when that championship round begins in Kingston on Thursday. Yeah, a head scratcher, but a win for Matt Dunstone. We'll wrap things up right after this. The 2020 Tim Hortons Briar is brought to you by Sponge Towels. Nothing absorbs like it. The 2020 Tim Hortons Briar is brought to you by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada, by Tim Hortons, the official coffee of Curling Canada, and by OK Tire and BKT Tires. It won't go down in ESPN Curling Canada Classics anytime soon, but it doesn't matter because Matt Dunstone found a way down 5-1 in the game. He battles back and gets the win. All right, just a reminder this afternoon, first Briar appearance for both Jason Gunlickson and Alec Bedard. Quebec, Manitoba, 2 p.m. Eastern time on TSN 1 as Vic Russ Cathy will have you covered right here on TSN. Yep. As Team Saskatchewan looking for its first Briar title since way back in 1980, New Brunswick, of course, yet to raise that tankard. We're just getting started here in Kingston. Thanks for watching our Briar coverage right here on TSN.